They've fought, they've survived. Now they seek the crown. You witnessing the finest. Yeah, you never know what you can do until you try. Yeah. While Dragon and Forever King flex their muscles in group A. Dragon takes it. Forever King. Tekken Master and Foxy Grandpa destroyed Group B thanks to a pair of super powered comebacks. Oh, get out of here! Yes! I'm not giving anything away. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. Oh, The first ever Injustice 2 World Champion is decided next. This is the finals for the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. Yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. I am your host. No, I am the parasite to the host. I will be sucking all the knowledge from you. Uh, my name is Z, and I'm joined by the ever grateful and handsome Ultra David. Well, I appreciate that, but I think you're doing a pretty good job yourself tonight. Look at this guy over here. It is a contrast. A Tale of Two Cities, uh, you, of course, will be doing the main carrying of the show, and I will be riding on your cult tales. What are we here gathered today for? This is gonna be the finals of E-League for Injustice 2. And it's, it's been an incredible couple of weeks leading up to this. Uh, fantastic play from a ton of different players. Uh, extremely interesting results. You know, a lot of people had, uh, a, they thought that they had a good idea of what would happen coming into this. But we don't have Sonic Fox, we don't have Theo, we don't have Samij. Those are the players we do have. Dragon versus Foxy Grandpa, and Tekken Master versus Forever King. Of course, Dragon was uh, one of the favorites coming into this whole event. And he's still in. He's really the only one who was among those top four favorites he who has remained. He does have a clear path to the victory now that his nemesis... Sonic Fox is out of the tournament, and I really think that changes the dynamic for everyone, not only oh, yeah. the players, but the viewership that has been accustomed to seeing him just win so dominantly. But now it's a completely open field. Uh, would you say now that without uh, Sonic Fox in the fray that Dragon is a clear favorite, or are we still looking at a pretty competitive top four here? Yeah, I, I definitely think that it's competitive. I think you're right, probably, that Dragon is the favorite, but I definitely think that it is close. It's, it's not a runaway. Uh, Tekken Master is, I think, going to be right in there. Uh, uh, but, of course, everybody who plays tonight is already in a pretty good financial situation. Ah, uh, yes. You know, dragons, uh, if we go according to lore, you know, Lord of the Rings, they like to sit on a mountain of gold, and certainly first place will be on a mountain of $150,000. If they're all paid in singles, it's going to be like Scrooge McDuck swimming around in there. <laughs> Second place, a nice uh, chump of change there. 50 k third at 20 and of course, fourth at 10K. So they're already, as you said, uh, they're in the money. They are, they're, they and are very much kids, in the money. When I was their age, uh, I believe the youngest being, I don't know, what, like 18? Yeah. All the way to like 25, uh, could not imagine, could not fathom uh, this amount of money, but they're gonna play for it. And we're gonna take a look at our first matchup of the day. Foxy Grandpa battling his way through the last chance qualifier to make it through the finals. That is a story if I ever heard one. I believe in Dragon. The young phenom, the Evo champ. What Stop. a timing for that. He Stop. had exactly the right call. Yeah. That is actually ridiculous. Who, who would expect that? Dominant performance by Dragon. Foxy Grandpa has quite the mean mug on him, man. That's how you know my man wants to win. You read the backdash. That's the kind of stuff Foxy is known to do. Okay, escape button. There's Dragon just like that. Should be able to steal it. Dragon is comfortable. He's an Evo champion. That okay. means this is a steamroll at this point. I have no idea how this is going to go. If anything will do it now. There it is. And Foxy Grandpa's going to the playoffs. It means I get to come back next week and, uh, you know, make some more people salty. A dragon versus a fox. How does this play out today? Two very young, hungry players. Uh, do you have any insight, perhaps, as to their previous matchups? They have played a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, in fact, they played at Viennality and they played at SoCal Regionals. Ooh. And in both cases, Foxy came in and he played Deadshot. And Dragon came in and he played Black Adam. And in both cases, he is the one who took it. Dragon okay. won 3-1 to one at Viennality and 3-0 at SCR. Pretty 
slightly dominating, but of course, Black Adam was a slightly different character back then. I wonder how much of that has any... Uh... You know, I think I still expect Black Adam. He, he has been talking about Black Adam quite a bit uh, online. Um, he has he's said he has some new tech. It's going to be wild. Nobody has seen it, apparently. It's going to be something crazy. Here's a look at, his, at this guy. This teenager comes in, of course, he is the evolution champion this year. Uh, right, Black Adam is the expectation. There may be other characters up his sleeve, hard to know, but that's what I expect to happen. And on Foxy's side, you know, Ooh. I expected that shot. A much longer road to get to the top of four, course. as you can see. He Did lost they... first round, recall, mm -hmm. and he had to win through losers. And he came back, as you see, uh, being knocked out by some early on. And then roaring back after going through Theo, you know, Killer Xenox, got back his revenge at Samij and then Hayate, uh, largely with a dead shot. Well, there was a lot of Batman last time, but he told me earlier that he's gonna go dead shot. And I said, what about, you know, potential matchups, well, this and that? And he said it's gonna be dead shot. That may mean it's, it's Batman. I don't know, but that's, that's what at least he said is gonna happen. I've always wondered how much of this uh, is a disinformation. The information wars. Perhaps he's feeding you information, uh, hoping that you're going to go, you know, Tekken Master here, overheard yeah. the dragon. Uh, he's going to play this and this and this. Who knows? That's, is... that's what I suspect sometimes. Although this time, I would say he seemed pretty earnest about it. Okay. Uh, he, it seemed like he was being serious. And, and in talking with him, he was confident. And both Dragon and he were in the same room. And tell me about the body language. Yeah. Why would they even be in the same room together? They Could you feel the tension? You, yeah, there, there wasn't this kind of chatter. There was this thing, <laughs> this thing going okay. on. One guy was over here, one guy was over there. And uh, they, it's not like they were antagonistic, but they were not hanging out necessarily, right? One was eating, the other one was playing a game. Mm -hmm. uh, but they both are confident. And, and Foxy Grandpa said that everybody here is confident. He's confident. Dragon, I think, should be confident. I think a lot of people think he's the favorite. Yeah. But for Foxy, uh, he has beaten enough strong players uh, in this in E League and just in general that he he should feel like he's in a pretty good spot. This is a guy, you know, we have two people who have been in grand finals at Evo before. One of them won ah, it. Yes, only one victor. We'll see how it goes. Let's head over to TBS. We're going to take a look at the match. Begin. Black Adam versus Deadshot. All right, just like that, Dragon starting with the jump in. Wow, and the dirty stuff, the instant Ugh. jump two, catching Foxy, pressing a button, full combo, close to 400 damage and full screen. However, that is where Deadshot loves to be. Right, he got that first hit and he used that meter effectively to get a bunch of damage. Here comes the trade, those orbs doing extra damage, and look at this huge early lead from Dragon now. He's got the corner control. Yeah, looking clean as possible, plus frames here into the throw. Foxy not able to get anything going still early, but here's the wake up to get Dragon off of him. Commits to the 50-50, and now his offense is going. Yeah, he likes to commit to that overhead or that low 50-50, as you mentioned there. And right now, back to full screen, but he gets the overhead, converts into more damage. All right, that follow-up with the big knee. Here's the low shot into the corner. Big damage now for Deadshot of the meterless variety. The knockdown. He's all caught up, and he's trying to get this first life bar. Spending keep, the meter for it. To keep it safe, there's the push block to keep Dragon back in the corner. Ooh. And the dive kick enhanced by those orbs right on the dome. But expect a quick response from Foxy here. One shot to do the job to tie things up. Yeah, without a doubt. You see him jumping back there. He's trying to get air shot, but he gets caught. And there, Dragon reading him. Beautiful mileage on this second health bar coming from Dragon. Great pickup there with Foxy. That down one, that low gun shot, juggling Black Adam in the air long enough to follow up. And Foxy now with the corner control, trying to mix him up with that low and overhead mix up. Went for the overhead, but get caught with the forward one, two. Here comes the conversion. Black yeah. Magic, switch aside. We're going towards the corner now. All right, Dragon having none of it. He won't watch the sequence of pressure now. Looking to challenge with that low lightning is Dragon, but instead the low swipe into the lightning hands. Yeah, Foxy's in big trouble. And there you have it. Game one to Dragon. Yeah, series of momentum shifts there. Dragon came out the gate swinging, lightning striking everywhere. Frame traps on point, execution on point. Not much in the way of drop combos, reads. He's just outplaying him, and it's early. One game, sure, but Dragon looked as strong as ever, looking to continue his run in winners. Yeah, and Foxy immediately running back for Deadshot. Gets the first hit with that jump back. Light punch, and right now trying to zone him out, but man, Blacken was already in there to use the trade, gets a little bit of damage with it. Yeah, great patience. 
from Foxy. Look, jumping up, tossing that unblockable, interactable for the time being as he lets the shots fly from full screen. Yeah, full screen, we really haven't seen much from Foxy so far in this matchup. That's where Deadshot excels, but look at that. Roll out of it. Get the other interactable oh, now. Just outside of the range for that unblockable blast. Great conversion again. We saw this from Foxy in the first game at the end. Not the greatest of damage, but enough to keep the momentum and Man. push Dragon towards the corner. Oh, get in here! Big damage coming up. Yeah, corner combo. Foxy putting in some work. Huge early for him this time. Turning things around, but wake up with the cage off the wall. Huge risk there for Dragon paying off. Foxy looked like he was ready, but came a little too preemptively on the inside now. Both of these men mixing it up, changing between the Palpatine hands into the low lightning as Dragon keeping it safe. Yeah, first life bar gonna go to Dragon. And man, Foxy has such an early lead, but Dragon just a couple reads in the right spots, and he gets the first life bar instead. Do you see the anger on his face? That's right shift. back in the player cam that Foxy leaned forward a little bit more, and the emotion spilling out from his body into his gameplay as he puts the shots towards the cape. No lightning zone. Oh my god, armor burn the interactable just to stuff that dive and here comes the clash. Still hold your leash. I shut off his paws. Foxy looking to shoot off the rest of Dragon's life bar here, coming out of the clash in a neutral favor, trading low lightning with gunshots. Great trade in Foxy's favor, as while his character power is active, those blue, blue bullets forcing a knockdown and full screen pushback. Yeah, but it doesn't even matter. Dragon now using his trade and had the combo as well. But oh man, this is going to get down to the wire. Dragon has no clash available. Corner combo now for Foxy. A great decision there. Oh, it's another Dragon. wake up. Wow, I can't believe it worked twice. Keeping it unclassable now. Great blocks and letting himself get hit to force the clash. Yeah, smart choice. He has the meter lead here. He'll get more health back. All right, how much? Dragon will not challenge. Foxy will spend two bars, 25% of his health recovered as we go down and a punish on the Black Magic. The bullets may not do much, but they add up. Two in a row now, patience from both men. Here's yeah, a jump. Foxy cannot make a mistake here. One bad bullet will lead to his demise. Trying to bait out some movement is Dragon now. Oh, oh my god, down to the wire here. And the trade's the push block from Foxy, trying Get to keep away. Reads the dive kick, and there you go, Foxy Grandpa tying it up. What One a, game each. What a fantastic reaction there. Foxy simply walking back and blocking one of the most underrated talents in all of fighting games, saw Dragon take it to the skies, expected the, uh, the dive kick, evaded it, Black easy Adam. combo conversion, 1-1, one, one, what's up? Yeah, Dragon now sitting back, thinking Hunters it over, sticking it out with Black Adam. He does have an Aquaman that he could choose to go with here, but he's sticking it out with Black Adam for now. You see the head nods with Dragon, confident in his selection, just taking some time, going back to the character select screen, maybe reset the neutral things. And oh Jamie's out, gets the forward three, that big overhead bounce. Doesn't quite get the entire conversion, but still, 350 damage. Perfect start for Eric. Yeah, great start, but man, this match has been so back and forth. This time, Foxy gets the grab of his own. All right. Which decides with it for the corner control. Of course he's going to do that. Nice uppercut. And yeah, Dragon having none of it. You will not enter through the skies. Great anti-air from Black Adam. Helped Dragon win many of tournament matches throughout the series and even here at E-League. Patience. Fully be timed, low lightning there from Dragon. He's trying to counter these bullets from Deadshot. That full screen is doing a really good job of it. Catch them coming forward, and that might be the life bar, and it is. Yeah, and an even better job on the spacing there. Just outside of the range of that lunging shot coming from Deadshot is Dragon, ready at the helm with that forward one. Black Adam, such a great move, that advancing mid uh, high coming exactly. out for forward one. Yeah, definitely one of his best attacks. And this is something we haven't seen much of Foxy do, doing successfully so far in this match. This long range zoning, which Deadshot is known for with his bullets. Yeah, trying to keep Dragon on the ground. Here's Foxy, uh -huh. and there it is. We saw that at the end of game two. Be and the this meter. time, yes, sir. Yeah, doesn't quite get the entire conversion. Calling him out on the trick shot, looking for ways to ricochet those bullets all over this prison. Oh, and he gets him with the interactable. Smart choice, and look at this. Final life bars here in game three. Critical life bar now for both players. I mean, it wouldn't be a playoff with a back-to-back, -back, you know? It, oh, of course did not. Did you think you were going to see a 3-0 here? Not in the slightest. The push block to keep Dragon out of his personal space, but right back oh, in. Oh, get off me! Multiple hits of armor there on that interactable. Spinning the meter is a Foxy Grandpa. Great blocks now. That yeah, Dragon had full meter, but he spent the bar there and gets caught. Low lightning meter burn it as well for more damage. And Dragon piece, now no combos allowed. Keeping it uncollapsible. Here's the smart stuff. Chip damage territory for Dragon. Yeah, Grandpa's in big trouble right now. And he but he gets the overhead, he's he, the meter. Wow, and he makes something happen. And he's keeping it unclassable as well, trying to beat oh, Dragon. The oh, the trade! And the trade! What great decision making and poise to the young man from Delaware, knowing he was getting opened up consistently and not 
Foxy giving him no chance to clash. He simply waited for the character power, those unblockable orbs coming in from Black Adam. Free damage right. at a moment's notice. So all he had to do was wait and allow Foxy to kill himself. Dragon swinging back into the driver's seat, up two games to one. And he gets the first hit here as well. Spends the meter immediately to convert in this early combo, trying to close out the set with this game. There's the wake up buttons from Dragon challenging him right back at you. Is a Foxy grandpa not ready? And this is why Dragon is a favorite but man. Foxy has been making these comebacks and in great interruption that time. Overhead gonna convert. All right, wake up from Dragon again. Highly successful so far. Trades on the Black Magic, but here's an air to air jump from a Foxy grandpa. Gets the full damage 200, nothing to the stop. Wake ups are working, and man, you know, Black Adam has one of the least respected wake ups in the game. Yeah. But right now, Dragon is making it work. And again, one more life bar, and Dragon gonna advance to the winner final. And right, with his back to the wall, the corner, the one place you don't want to be in fighting games now. Great mix ups, canceling that strength into the low. Oh. Like back to back, 228 damage on and two. Again, Consecutive try. Waking up with that forward one again. You know, Rip, this may all it's looking be ugly. over. Yeah, this it's is looking real ugly. Foxy's gonna need a real master comeback, and it's looking grim. Staying in his face with that knee on the meter burn. Beautiful anti-air, and Dragon just now trying to chip away at him. And this is not looking. There you have Damn. it. Make some noise for Dragon advancing to the winner final. Man, he is guaranteed a ton of money right now. So dominating, and that third game is Dragon. Well, that was a bit of a blow up. It seemed at the start like it might be not so. Of course, it was one to one, but especially at the end there. I mean, Dragon started waking up with forward one buttons. He just he was doing lightning cage wake up, which is so slow and is just it hit not a couple times. Good. It did. No, I'm saying he he was so strong that he felt like he could do those things and that they would work. And in fact, they did work. Uh, so you know, congrats to him. As we said before, he he is. Uh, Many people's choice to take this. No surprise there. I think he's feeding off the crowd and the energy, but we're gonna come up with the second match of the day right after this break. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. All day to the death of me. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. destiny. And welcome back to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. We just had our first match of the day. Of course, uh, these four players got a little bracket reset. The four kings sitting very pretty. 
Tell us a little bit more about our second matchup. Tekken Master versus Forever King. You know, I talked with Tekken Master and Forever King before this happened. Forever King said, you know, Dragon's probably the favorite coming into this. Tekken Master looked at us and he said, no, no, he's not. Wow, the disrespect. Tekken right Master in front of believes face. in himself. He believes in himself. And you know what? I think that I think that he should, but first let's take a look at Forever King. King with the rush and here comes the elbow. This is oh, wow. And the T back in Hold his on. face. That's awesome. My gamer tag is Forever King. I'm from Lorain, Ohio. I've been competing professionally ever since 2012. So ever since Injustice 1, I was known as like the best Batman player. Even in Injustice 2, like almost every single major tournament, there was only one Batman in top eight, and it was me. Forever King, King of the Batman Mirror Legacy lives on. Currently, right now, I am the best Batman player. The Injustice Pro Series consisted of the top 16 players in the world. I went 0-2, but both matches I lost were very close, like 3-2. It was heartbreaking, but um, that's why they have the last chance qualifier. Oh, this is going down wow. the wire. First life part two forever, King. When I first walked in today, I knew this was the last important tournament. If I didn't do well here, then there might not be anything else until next year. King in control. Here's the throw to the 10th floor we go. I was pressured the whole time. Like I knew everyone in that top eight were good and they, you know, they earned their spots and I was gonna have to play my heart out just to, you know, almost win maybe. King still on his first life bar and calls him out with a raw crap. What? Okay. Today was like one of the best days I've ever had. I performed really well. Like I didn't lose to anyone except the guy that got first, Foxy, and very, very happy with my performance. And that is it. Forever King qualifies. I'm not really worried. I'm playing the best I've ever played right now. I'm very confident with my Batman. And everyone that's going to be at E-League, they're going to have to deal with me. The Bat Man. I mean, it's a Bat King. If he can maintain his momentum, uh, he admittedly himself has played the best that he ever did. But there's been, you know, a couple of weeks elapsed since that wonderful Cinderella performance in the LCQs and then that round one. Does he have what it takes to win today is the question. You, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that momentum continue. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not like it was just one day. It was both the last chance quals and it was also the next week. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen. But, you know, we have a video prepared. Let's take a look at it with this matchup. Honestly, these are two of the best competitors we have. The beast from the Middle East. I'm going to cash in all my chips on Forever King. Forever the oh. King. Got opened up, and King is on the offensive. Oh, Great. beautiful. And finally, a block and punish on that school Tekken Master fighting back. Oh, get her! Oh, let's get her! What a read from King. He risks it all. Tekken Master, a bully gameplay style right now, not sitting back and watching. The surprise of Pool B. Nobody picked this man to get out. And just like that, Tekken Master, the reverse 3 0. Oh, no pick up, goes for the down three, does not work out. Oh, he's thrown up into it, and Forever King does the impossible. He has beat Sonic Fox twice. Beating the best player in the world two times in one day is pretty insane. This is the best I've ever played in my life. What is this gesture here? I thought we had banned the thuggery from the fighting game community, but over and over, repeatedly, I see Forever King doing that every time he vanquishes a new opponent. I, I love it. You, you can see on his face when he's really having a good time and when he really feels like he's in control. Uh, as we said, the last couple of times we've seen him on E-League, that's the best I've ever seen him play. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that continue. Um, apparently, he has a new Batman reset that is apparently some sick tech. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. We'll talk about it if it comes up. Um, but I'm expecting Batman out of him. I don't think there's going to be anything else. You mean to say he beat Sonic Fox, Honey Bee, Dragon, then Sonic Fox again, and he didn't even show all his cards? He's still holding an ace up his sleeve? I think it might be more like he just found that card. I don't know if it was in his sleeve okay. beforehand. Okay, 53rd card in the deck. I think, I think it may be a new card. But uh, no, as you said, he beat that list of players, and that's, that's incredible. On Tekken Master's side, um, I think he may have been one of the best players in the NRS community for years now. It's just that he's been in Bahrain, and of course he's been coming over here. He got second at EVO and, yep. and the like. When Sonic Fox is not in the picture, 
he does really, really well. He's the man and, and I, you know, I expect him to do well today. The last time he played against Forever King, he won three to two. Mm. Let's go over to TBS and take a look at the match. Yet. Tekken Master, a man full of surprises. The walking Injustice 2 roster as he has played any character necessary. And just like that, the handshake All before. Right. Game on. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, King, wait a See, that was old school. I respect All that right, so right. much from Forever King. Let me walk. Let me give you this handshake. But before I leave, remember my name. Forever the King and a throat slice to set this set off. Oh, we got Dr. Fade. <laughs> character select screen. Man, we have not seen the Dr. Fate come out of Tekken, uh, Tekken Master for this entire tournament. This should be interesting. We also haven't seen King falter in this amazing Cinderella run, which Get is crazy. We're calling it a Cinderella run for one of the greatest players in the world, but the last oh. chance qualifier still fighting his way through. And that momentum. Playing, Nobody missed the back three. Playing the best he's ever played in his entire life. Continuation right now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Tekken Master forced to use the air escape there. Glyph of Get Off Me. I love that move. All right, showing off now. Traits up, goes to the dark magic. More damage and different properties on his different attacks. And right, here we go. Back to the battery ring. Zoning's now from Forever King. Looking for the jump in now. Patience from both oh. King forced to slow it down just a little bit as Fate fills the screen with projectiles, holding Bruce right in his tracks. Yeah, definitely one of the best zones in the game. You see that trait activated now. That is the red that you're seeing on the screen. And man, he's doing a great job of zoning out Batman and here. Just like that, Fate tells King to stay away. More damage gives the uh -huh. back bash and the punish as Tekken Master rewriting the book of the E-League playoff. Enough Cinderella run? It could be, man. I mean, Tekken Master then answer for everybody. But right now, Forever King answering back. He's got a combo. What's the reset going to be in the front? It is in the front, and great block from Tekken Master. All right, tosses that interactable marble cluster. Wow! But King is going to jump off of the other one, tying things up. He will not go down with the fight. And we all oh, know that smart. Pre Preparation Batman is the best character in the game, and King with a week to practice. Got them will rise again. Now, look at very early clash from Tekken Master. That's what we've seen him do throughout uh, the top eight so far. Right back to the space Great game. Air air. Fantastic reaction from Tekken Master meeting King. He's had enough of your acrobatic shenanigans. Stay full screen and hold all of these blasts. But like King, the mm -hmm. smart stuff, utilizing. Man. We talked about the meter burn roll last yes, week. Sir. Using that for his approach, covered by the mechanical bat. Just a combination of character power and game mechanics to get that offense started. But he gets him again with the cross up now. Forever King switching sides. What are we gonna do in the corner here? Wake up, nice delayed wake up. But King gets him again, but he drops the combo, get off me! Very uncharacteristic from King there, folding a little bit in this late game situation, keeping it safe as Tekken Master, but the orb there oh. for safety. And man, Forever King, he's trying to battle out here. He has a clash available, but he's not gonna get a chance to use it! What smart stuff, placing that orb directly in front of him, regardless of King meter burn roll or not. He had no space in between to land successfully, and the punish followed up by the orb. Easy combo, King is not gonna clash that in time, and just wow, like that. Wow, look at this, we got a character switch, no more Batman! Wait, wait, wait a minute, I need to go back over to young Tasty on the analyst desk and see if he's still riding with Forever <laughs> the King, because this, this is a good choice, is the break up of loyalty, dead shot now on the screen. Bruce Wayne, not enough to get the job done here as we take it to the swamp. You know, that's the thing, you know, Tekken Master using Dr. Fate, one of the best zoners in the game, however, has a difficult a different, difficult time against dead shot with his zoning. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. And Tekken Master staying right in that sweet spot, about three fourth screen to try to keep his projectiles in point. Blocking successfully now, and a little impatient, gets up and eats the last bullet. Yeah, this is gonna be a very long range battle for the most part, but man, Tekken Master keeping it close. And there's the wake up from King, looking to escape early, no punish on the whip throw, and the, mm -hmm. cha the challenge from Tekken Master. I do not respect your frames. You have to prove that to me, and Dr. Fate looking to what be the jump. clutch pick. Yeah, maybe Batman would have been a better choice. It was definitely going better. And gets the oh! combo conversion now. Keeps it unclassable early. Looking for that cross up on the neutral jump. Three Tekken Master getting a little a little saucy here. I mean, Forever King had a huge meter lead, but it's diminishing right now. And look at him activating the trait. Going for mix-ups of all of the varieties, but Tekken Master with the punish. Now, quick mix-ups and reset situation for Deadshot. Not the greatest. No, you know, sir. He doesn't do, do the most mid-screen damage, and Tekken Master able to challenge. And right now, Forever King's in a bit of trouble. He's using the interactable done. He gets the jump, and this is going to get him there a life bar. Forever the Acrobat jumping off of the gator, swinging on the vines, jumping right after meter burning the barrel, using all of the. Oh, he's got a meter burn of his own! 
accessories at his disposal as we come back to it after that sequence. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's in big trouble here. Even though he's got the little combo, he's way behind on meter, even though he has a clash available. All right, a couple shots to the face may change that. Right just in the range where that would whip, but now chip damage territory, and that orb should be enough to do it. King changing his jump dark to even stay matter. alive, but simply delaying the inevitable Tekken Master now. Two games to zero. Does forever, forever King have anything left in the tank? I mean, who knows? But I mean, online you see so many players talk about, man, Deadshot is so good, Batman is so good. Maybe you guys need to pick up Doctor Fate, you know, because right now Doctor Fate is up two to zero Batman. over Forever King's Batman and Deadshot. Now, we know King has another trick on his sleeve. If you remember, in the Group A stage, he was down two games to zero against Honeybee, the Great Flash God Lord, and after being down 2-0, he had a, a taunt of sorts in the middle oh, of a match. That's very true. And that was able to use a, a mental trick to get him back into it, as he claims. So, well, right now he's right back into Batman. Man, at first hit, Tekken Master with the glyph. Yeah, removes all of those mechanical bats immediately wants nothing to do with their wonderful utility as Batman basically plays his own game when that bat is active. A beautiful block there on the cross -gen. and block, man, his defense is so good. All right, this time chasing him down on the Glyph King, getting the full bread and butter combo as we walk towards the corner. Tekken Master putting up that defensive orb to close the door and let Batman know he's not welcome, even on the streets of Gotham. Yeah, I mean, Batman does have that double jump, but it's so much slower. And, whoa, oh my god, what a reach. Like, you want to jump? I got the battering for that. And there's the up grapple to reverse him into the corner. Oh. Enough hits to break the armor. And in case you didn't know, using the police anything against Bat uh, Batman in Gotham is definitely not worth it as he has control over everything. Probably told young Jimmy, hey, you know, stop the progress on this car. We don't need that. I got some work to do. And look at the early, early clashes. From I Tech never Master. quit. Batman also reminding the masses that he never quits. You may have heard that once or twice in your Journeys of Injustice 2. Mm -hmm. As Tekken Master resets the neutral back into the magic, tossing all of it at his disposal. Beautiful approach here from Forever King, but it's not really mad when Tekken Master zoning up. Oh, finally, the opening. Gets the punish now, gets the full combo this time. Yes, hard knockdown, mechanical back. Oh, that way! And reverses the wake up, Tekken. Oh, oh wait a minute! It. And right on cue, Forever King trying to get into Tekken Master's head. The Will it be way. successful? Same way he did Honeybee, right? And oh man, he gets with Mechanical Bat. Now he's got the corner combo. Forever King turning things around here. But and oh boy. Out. Oh boy. Get out of here. I got this down to a six frame. And Rip, it's happening again. There's the grapple hook into that lunging kick. And the crowd is up on their feet oh, for Forever boy. King. They want to see a comeback. Will Tekken Master stick it out with fate is the question Dr. now. Fate. He Fighters is. Approaching he has another game to work with here. Let's see if he can get it done with Dr. Fate. But right now, for everything, trying to make this comeback happen. Tekken Master up two games to one in this race to three. Yeah, this is still the winner's side of the bracket. Absolutely. You can check his breathing patterns there. But Tekken Master looking a little nervous still in the driver's seat with another game to give. And immediately great defense against Batman with three bats as he's able to keep King at bay mm -hmm. and get his offense started. Yeah, that first hit to Tekken Master. So he's got the early meter lead. And here comes the mechanical bat. He's got one ready to go for the trade at least. Man, he's having such a hard time getting in here. Yeah, that shoulder this time getting contested by the bat. Ooh, there, the king. Slide. Yeah, the king slide. Uh -huh. It's the continuation. Big kryptonite punch. Here's the mix up. What side? Take beautiful block. Him. Yeah, beautiful blocks. His defense against Batman has really held up so far in this set. More patience from both men. The level of respect at this level deep here in the playoffs. They know that you have to take advantage of each opportunity, and they're not allowing themselves to get opened up easily in the slightest. No, definitely not. Right now, for everything with a slight lead here in game four, not enough to really be substantial. Both of these men oh, working for him. every bit of damage, and King gets the open up. Oh, chases him down. And the forward three, another chase down. You want a back dash? Hey. I'm Batman. I got answers for that. There you go. King is in his head now. Maybe the book of Tekken Master has been read. And oh. there's the grapple talking about reads right on cue forever. King turning it up once again. This is the scariest he's ever been. Without a doubt. But here we go. Tekken Master trying to turn things back around. The zoning is where he's done most of his work. And again, the read from Forever King on point. A great trade from Tekken Master because that was a full combo continuation. And the roll in forced the clash. Not the smartest choice. Tekken Master has a couple bars. He spends both. So he's got 25% health regen from that clash. Wow, great avoidance there of that unblockable. Oh, what a sick bait out from Tekken Master. Nothing coming from it, though. However, more spacing, which I'm sure he's content with.
Right, and now Forever King does have the mechanical bat ready to go, and he's gonna get trade. No, he doesn't get it, but the neutral jump pays off. Yeah, looking for the wake up on, but instead gets his buttons reversed. Healing circle, oh. not what he wanted. Lucky situation for Tekken Master. He didn't get caught into the Batman Vortex again, and now he's able to fight back as he needs to rid King of his clash. And for Forever King doing a good job of bringing out those mechanical bats as soon as he gets just one charge up. Into the corner we go, push blocking to keep Forever King away. And there's oh, the healing, healing circle. You ain't getting in there, girl. And this is big time trouble. King dropping the combo, oh. but the double jump came. And this is going to be enough. He yeah. ran the jump out. You want to air escape? I know about that. King knows it all. And we are seeing the story of this young man from Ohio fighting back from the clutches of Elimination, mm -hmm. and now here with the reset bracket in the playoffs, sent to loser. He refuses to die, and the throat slice what? lives on to see game five. What character are we going to see from Tekken match here? This is such a critical decision. Yes. To stay in the winner's side of the bracket. All or nothing. He's got so many characters to choose from. And we saw oh, him use boy. the green arrow against Samiz in a surprise that no one was ready for. Will we see it here in game five? I mean, you got to believe that Forever King has a good read now and everything he's trying to do with Dr. Fate. It's such a hard position here. You know, you won two games, you lost two oh, games. He's going pretty much it. even, but Tekken Master decides enough. I'm gonna bet it all on Ali. Billionaire Playboy versus Billionaire Playboy. Make some noise for game five, y'all. Green no. Arrow versus <laughs> Batman. Final game, make some noise, everybody. Here we go, first hit goes to Tekken Master. All right, and the mechanical bats this time, no defense. However, no combo continuation from King. He's going to rely on the arrows, and we saw him make excellent work of that Savage Blast. Then jump to away arrow bomb that keeps the distance and spacing between. Oh, stay in this His corner. It's perfect. And right now, Tekken Master keeping the pressure on, not letting Batman out. But the all oh, beautiful armor. Yeah, that 4 3 with the meter burn, armoring through that Savage Blast to chase Tekken Master down. And now King looking like a completely different player, all of the right reads. Beautiful escape, the slide. Getting Tekken Master out, but Forever King still has the life lead. And there's the Savage Splash again, creating some space between himself and Batman. Doesn't want anything to do with the wheelchair. My legs are perfectly fine. Push block, get away from me, load up the fire arrows. Yep, extra damage on those. And right now he's got a couple more of them. Man, he is making his life back. Forever King's lead diminishing. Wow, a great Beautiful. slide. The challenge under the battle rank is second master, and just like that, finally slowing down the pace, doing what Ali does best, and that's fire those arrows away. And look at that, he's actually caught the life lead now. Push block, he does not want King in at any cost. Here's the fire arrows. Can he get it away? King looking for the Mark down two. Off. Tekken Master gets the first life in his final game. Yeah, we've seen excellent usage of the background interactables from both of these men throughout the entirety of this set. Coming down with that dive kick to Chip King out, but just like that, you know he's not gonna give up. Fighting down, it wouldn't be the playoff if we didn't go down to the last health bar in the final of game. Of course not, and here we go, the zoning coming out from Forever King, much more batterings, but these fire arrows chipping away. Loads it up, oh. goes for the raw forward three. He tried. He was looking for that big bash to the cranium, but no, the bat taking care of the work. And final health bar for both of these men. Kane with the read on the slide. Man, I chunked that one. Push yourself harder. And giving him the motivational theory is Batman. And we saw this. This was a trade of Tekken Master. Early clash throughout the entirety exactly. of the series. Believing in his defense more than anything. Is it enough? Without a doubt, and right now, those fire arrows doing a good job of chipping away. They do extra chip damage compared to the regular green arrows. And man, those Savage Blast is using her, he's using to escape the mechanical bats. And stay out of the range of exactly. everything that Batman wants to do. Keeps it safe there, but gets the combo instead. Down, poke, into that meter burn slide. The overhead arrow pushing him away. Yeah, Forever King, he's behind you, but he gets the jump back on. He read the slide. And he's gonna get the full conversion here. Four, three now into the restand. Oh my gosh, he's gonna make this comeback. Keeps it safe. Going Great for the block. Mix. And none of it. King has no meter to work with now. Nobody still has a mechanical bat to work with. Oh, great check there from Tekken Master. Chasing oh. down, doesn't get it. Throws out that full string. Luckily, wasn't with Punish King looking to escape. Again, no meter. Great Building block. some now into the corner. Challenge. And both of oh these men God. now. They're chopping away at each other. Who's going to take it? Hurricane Ball put it down too, but nothing else after it. He doesn't have any resources. Slide, but he, no bat. I can't believe he bet it all on that. Oh my God, this is going to go down by Forever King. Still has a clash available. Right, arrows are out. Two bars of meter for Tekken Master. Here's the push block. There's got one. Got the bar. Oh, he got hit. And he cannot block while the arrow was active. Got caught standing up. And oh. here's the slide plus frames coming from Tekken Master. Forever King landed that one. Oh, this is so close. Trains are not in anyone's favorite rim. It's know. going down to the wire. Both of these men expending it. With it. He got him. No, not over, not over. No conversion. We wow. got the fire arrow. arrow. Snipe out of the air from Tekken Master. A green oh. arrow showing off that archery. Beats the gadgets the old-fashioned way. 
save and take the master with wow, the combo. Wow, that was super so close. Crazy. Oh my god. That was super close. Oh my god. <laughs> All I gotta say, that one round that was squandered, it was just boom, 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 be gone, Dead Thought, be gone. Dude, if not for that dead shot pick, uh, Frederick King would have had a great chance of taking that. You know, I talked with Tekken Master before the match started. He said that he had game plan for Green Arrow. He was planning to go Arrow. Yep. And then just before everything started, he thought, no. I'm gonna do the fate. Last time they played, he played fate, and there was a whole round of character selections afterward, but he did end up winning. This time, he had to pull out that arrow, and he had to pull it out of somewhere. Batman took an arrow to the knee. We're gonna have more action right after this break. Welcome back to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. Uh, we wanted some advice of how to avoid taking a green arrow to the knee, and we hit up Dragon for some PS4 pro tips. What's up guys, it's Ryan, also known as Dragon. I'm here at E-League, and I'm here to give you some Injustice 2 pro tips. Dragon ready for exactly the right spot on screen to get the background bounce. And that finally worked! The low wow. lightning data burst! There you go, Dragon up 2-0! to zero. And that was a just dominant performance by Dragon. My main is Black Adam, and I'm going to show you guys how to play against Batman. You'd be wise to give up. You're no match for a god. The main way you really want to play this matchup is you want to make sure that he doesn't get in this space, which is where Batman really shines. You want to establish a lightning and black magic game. 
But the thing against Batman is you can get punished by doing that. So what you want to do is you also have this move, which is dive kick. This basically is a low attack and they have to be not jumping basically. If they jump, then it'll whiff. But the way you stop them from jumping is by dive kicking and that basically stops his game and stops him from coming in and stops him from being in this range where you don't want him to. I have the wisdom of a god. Now we're going to go into Superman. Your magic doesn't frighten me. Amon's strength will crush your pride. Superman's main game is this right here, four, two, three, and two, breath. It's the main thing that Superman's do. Careful what you wish for. Black Adam has a really good option, which is forward one, two, and it actually stops his move. Completely outright stops him from doing it. It's my turn to rule. Now the zoning game is completely different. Superman's do lasers, you'll see him do air lasers. You can't let him get away with that. So anytime you see him jump into laser, you can jump yourself and go into a dive kick, which completely punishes him and you get a full combo. Child's play. Hopefully this will help you be more confident going against all these characters and that you won't even have to worry about them whenever someone picks them against you. What did you think of those pro tips? Is that going to help him in the match up against Tekken Master? Well, I, I know now that I can make it to E-League and I can get into winner's finals at E-League. If I only follow those tips, doable, any, right? Any one of us filthy doable. casuals, yes. Uh, certainly he makes it look a lot easier uh, than it actually is the case. Again, Tekken Master, I would like him if he was playing against Dragonov, but he's going up against the evil reigning champion. How do you expect this next big one to play off against these colossal opponents? You know, I tried looking for a matchup they had played before, and I, and I couldn't find any, at least not on streams. Um, what? So I'm, yeah. I, Siri, find us the match right now. Yeah, okay, they, Google. Let me know on Twitter if I've missed it or something, but uh, I tried searching through a bunch of tournament results and couldn't find it. So Alexa, if you know uh, <laughs> anywhere, we can dig through. It's, it's almost interesting, right? Like these uh, two players of this high of a caliber, right. and you can't find any of the information. Right, no, but uh, that's, that's very interesting, though. Um, Dragon has not been playing for super long, right? Uh, and Tekken Master has been playing for a long time, although hasn't been traveling to the U.S. for more than, a, than several years. Um, you know, so it's, it, it is interesting, but they are both at the peak, and this is this matchup, Dragon versus, Forever, for, versus uh, Tekken Master, is what many people called to see in Winner's Finals, having known the top four. Mm -hmm. But that said, wow, that was a super close way for it to happen. It very easily could have been Forever King instead. So Tekken Master comes into that Winner's Finals, I, I'm not sure that that's how he wanted to get in. You know, he wanted to do it with fate. He, he had a game plan, and it, he, had to, he had to switch things up. He had to call the audible. And, we, you know, we'll see if that sort of impacts how he plays in the next one. I like how the player card uh, on the bottom has the icon for his character. But certainly they could not fit enough <laughs> yeah. in the entire lower yeah. third for the entire repertoire of Tekken Master. So I think there's a lot of mental chess in his own head. He's yes. battling with his own choices, or not to stick to his convictions. Uh, but in the end, I think he did uh, squeeze out of three two victories uh, against Imijin and against the last one in Forever King. So he hasn't gotten here in the prettiest of ways, but he is here in the finals. Yeah, yeah, no, of, of course. And, I, and I'm sure that he's game planned for this. He stayed in Atlanta over the past week. He did not go home to Bahrain. Really? Yes, he didn't want a long trip. 30 back to hour Bahrain, yeah. layover, uh, of course. He, didn't, he did not want to do that. That's smart. A lot of people yes. perhaps would have gotten a bit homesick. Uh, they wanted some of that authentic food. Maybe they wanted to cry in the lap of their mother before they came for the final <laughs> show. But I think he's showing a lot of of maturity in the meta yeah. game. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And you know, he he is he is from Bahrain, like I said. You know, there's not a big local scene there, mm -hmm. uh, and so much of what he does is he prepares by thinking things out. And he goes into training mode, and he yeah. thinks, well, if I do X or Y, what's the counter to that? What's you know A and B? There's a lot of just sort of mental preparation, and and I think that that kind of thing really prepares him well for a situation like this. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be versus Dragon, but we will see coming up in a little bit. We're going to go to a break. We'll have the match after that.
Welcome back to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. It has taken us several weeks, but here we are at the pinnacle winner's finals of the tournament. Uh, so much of this going into it after Sonic Fox had gotten knocked out prematurely, much to everyone's surprise, these two were hailed as the favorites, and here they are. What do you like to happen? Who's your pick in winner's finals? I just want to see uh, Tekken Master pull out some crazy pick out of nowhere. But, uh, you know, these players have had a lot of time to prep, right? It's not sure. like your standard open bracket three-day tournament. And I wonder how that plays out when you go to bed and you think about how to dispatch your opponent <laughs> yeah. every day of the week uh, until the actual day arrives. Uh, I think we might be seeing, you know, some player specific, but as you had mentioned, it's very difficult to find uh, information. Perhaps these two had never met in a tournament of this magnitude. So how do you do that? How do you pre prepare for your opponent if you haven't fought him before? For sure, for sure. I like Tekken Master. Yeah? Yeah. Was uh, he your pick? Uh, we did have... Indeed he was. Katana Prime and I picked Tekken Master to win the whole thing before today started. Mm, but a lot I of other people Dragon. picked Dragon. And that was there me. was, you know, yeah. I think, I think that was many people's picks, you know, one of those two. So that they meet in winner's finals is not a big surprise, I don't think. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it is that Tekken Master brings out. Which character? Probably Black Adam for Dragon. And we'll see, you know, what Tekken Master's thought is on, on the counter pick. We've seen him play different characters uh, in that matchup in the past. Um, and I, I hesitate to say which one it's going to be this time because it just seems like he comes, comes with something new every time. If you had to have a little uh, theoretical exercise, uh, if indeed Dragon goes with the Black Adam, what is the yeah. best character in a Tekken Master's huge roster that would be a suitable counter pick? He's unashamedly a counter picker. For sure. On paper, what do you think would be a good pick? Well, I feel like Black Adam is one of the better rounded characters in the game. Hard to find a true counter pick to him, mm -hmm. but I, I would expect, I, I, what I've seen in the past is Atrocitus from him. I've seen that, that come up in the past. I've seen Brainiac from him in the past in this matchup. I've seen a couple other characters too, but uh, I think I would expect Atrocitus. Maybe that's the plurality in my mind. I but am I'm not expecting sure. the exact opposite. White Adam, AKA <laughs> Ultra Instinct, Scooby Shaggy. <laughs> uh, let's right. see if that actually turns out. I believe these guys are locked and loaded. Let's head over to TBS to check out the action. About his pro tips against Black, uh, against Batman. With Black Adam. And uh, Tekken Master told me backstage that if he plays against Dragon, he may go Batman to prove to Forever King that you can, in fact, win that matchup as Batman. But it is his mid-season Main oh, wait a and second. Brainiac that he's teased us with, but, but again, he's going to it. He's going to go a man of his word, trying to prove that Batman can take Black Adam. Yo, he's like, you know, that was a cool promo, play like a pro, presented by PS4. Let me show you how to beat that. And how disgusting is this dragon and his pro uh -huh. tip being put to the test immediately for the world to <laughs> see Tekken Master opening him up and in that virtual space that you want to control so desperately, Tekken Master says, forget you, forget your videos. <laughs> I am going to show you how to play this match. And Batman's the real pro here. He's got the batarangs out, and there's the low lightning that Dragon was talking about. Establishing that game, following it up with the black magic. Mm -hmm. But again, Batman jumping, so what comes next? Dive oh, games. gosh. It might be, but it doesn't even matter. Batman's got his jump, too. It's a beautiful cross, or sometimes it's not. Who knows? What's it going to be this time? Oh, you don't know about that one. The one thing you do know is that your health bar is gone, and Tekken Master strikes first blood. Play like a pro. Pick Batman. There you go. Walking back now. Dragon not phased. Some of the best points we've seen, especially from such a young player, doesn't get, doesn't get ruffled, oh, doesn't definitely. panic, none of it. Yeah, without a doubt, Dragon is the most solid player in general that I've seen in most fighting games. His defense, unbelievable. Yes. And there's a dive kick now, trying to prevent Tekken Master from jumping freely from full screen, looking for the shimmy mm -hmm. bait, and actually doesn't follow up, allows himself to be grabbed by Tekken Master. That was a really smart grab from Tekken Master as well. And right now he's sitting on a big lead, gets him with the oh, barrel! Oh, a little too tight on the execution is Dragon as he dives that, uh, that dive wow. kick a little too low. What a beautiful down two there. He interrupted Black Ass forward once, but here's the clash. It's my turn to rule. Don't bet on it. I wouldn't bet on it either right now. Tekken Master sitting on a full health bar life lead as it'll be chopped down some by the clash, allowing Dragon to regain 25% of his health. But no clash now has to deal with every bit of damage he takes. And Tekken Master, smart stuff, has Damn. the life lead and is not getting overzealous. Yeah, these down twos from Batman, these uppercuts that he's been doing, have been stopping him, and what a beautiful interactable jump here. And Tekken Master running away with the first game now. 
Where are we going? We're going to the front and a beautiful block by Dragon Stay Alive. But he's way behind here and gets caught air to air. That is a full combo punish. Not enough to kill, but chip damage territory. One hit is going to do it. And I don't know if anybody in the combined world can make this no comeback. No way. Not going to happen. Tekken Master gets game one with Batman. Could it be that the one man that people who don't expect, Batman. they didn't expect him to make it out of Group B? And Dragon immediately rematching with Black Adam, not even contemplating switching to Aquaman here. I mean, it seems like the armor has been cracked. Tekken Master plowing through Begin. every prediction, every speculatory <laughs> statement on every form of media beforehand saying how Dragon is the favorite. Tekken Master saying, you know what? No, he is not the favorite. I am. Well, that's the whole thing about this entire tournament so far. You know, where all the favorites have been eliminated. But right now, Dragon adds back. What was that? It was it so converts. dirty. It was beautiful. That's what it was. And Dragon said, you know what? This is child's play. Don't forget, this is a three out of five game set. So you Ugh. have to come harder than this young man. Here's a full life bar left uh, health lead right back at you. Dragon answering back. Starting off with a low lightning. Trades with the bat that time. And jumping off, I think we underrate how good Tekken Master is when it comes to awareness of the stage. He's using all of the interactive Without a doubt. Moves, both offensively and defensively to traverse freely. But Dragon in this game just too this much. Won't end well for you, Superman would disagree. Damn girl. I mean, watch yourself. You want to call Superman? This is a one-on-one, -on -one, sir. It's okay. Battle ranks to set the tone once again. Tekken Master is gonna need a massive comeback, but I mean. I mean, look at Bounce Dragon's cancels. defense right now. Yeah. That cost him two bars of meter, and Dragon's just blocking everything. Look at it, he can't even chip at him. Beautiful sequence, and even the one time that he got hit, Tekken Master doesn't have oh. any meter, and what an opening for Dragon. So impressive, unbelievable defense. He has to be one of the best turtles in this game. Absolutely, and what you didn't see in that play like a pro PS4 pro is that he didn't let you know how good to defend against Batman that's because true. that's the tech he's saving for himself. But right now, man, it is not looking good for Tech Match. He gets the down two here, tries to convert. He's going to get the grapple. Where are we going? Other side. As we mentioned, blocking that cross up from Batman is extremely difficult. And look at the combo here from Tekken Master. Air escape, smart what? stuff. So how unnecessary, how right? How cheeky was that? He actually waited for the entirety of the combo, escaped Yikes. the restand on the grapple, Yikes. and got the punish. Dragon says, hold on. You may have got game one, but this is the playoffs, buddy. No 3 0s allowed here. And so Dragon tying things up one game apiece, you know, but as we've seen, Tekken Master has so many characters at his disposal. Will he stick to the Batman here? He also has so many faces when it comes to emotions, <laughs> man. And we see him get the meme mug, you know, he hulks up and goes from, you know, 90 pounds to 97. And then, <laughs> you know, there he's just contemplating, trying to figure it out. But a star here in game three as it started, Dragon on the offensive. Holy moly, he's behind him. Yeah, funky hitbox situation there. Caught him a little too close for that bat to connect, but Tekken Master again using the background to his advantage. Wake up down two, though, from Dragon to answer back, and this match a lot closer to start things off. Game number three, who wants to take the lead here? And Winning this match guarantees you a top two finish, $50,000 or $150,000. Punish. Looking to challenge the plus frames, but wow, good trade there. Does not eat the dive kick, but instead eats 228 damage worth of low lightning to the feet. Yeah, they are trading here on Black Magic and Batarang, so the life are still very even between the two of them. On the challenge from Dragon, gets stopped in his tracks by the bat, but catches wow. the meter burn roll. That he Black too Magic, early. great tracking there, and Dragon right on time. Although a very close match seems to be in control of the tempo, playing at the speed of his choice. Yeah, that was very smart. That's a from Tekken Master to get that life bar. He saved the mechanical bat just for that opening. And that's one thing he really hasn't done well with Batman so far, is his mechanical bat usage hasn't been important to something like Ooh. Forever King with the main of a Batman. And beautiful trades there. Again, Dragon able to avoid every situation. So much so that when Tekken Master just got the opening, he wasn't ready to commit because he didn't expect it to connect. Oh, and again, he's up at a ranks, paying off for him. And challenges with the down two. He does not care. Yeah, that's how he landed, though. He had no meter. And oh my god, he ate so much damage. Yeah, and Dragon looking for the clash doesn't want anything to do. That was going to be a juggle opportunity, potentially into another reset. And Dragon says, no, I'll reset this, and I'll have total faith in my defense. So Dragon now, no clash available, but he gets the combo. And oh my gosh. He tries the black magic twice in a combo. Can't didn't do it. Yeah, wasn't aware that he got it on the trade, but instead picks up the secondary one. And here's what a clash from Tekken Master. To help? I'll show you the wizard's power. Talking about wizards and all of that, I'm pretty sure Batman doesn't care. He probably thinks he's a wizard himself <laughs> as he double jumps back away, the only character in the game, with one of those as well. And the jump, mechanical he's jump in. And here we go, he's got the combo. Tekken Master trying to take the lead in the set, two to one. 
Can he keep the pressure up here? He right. goes in, nice push block from Dragon. And both of these men low on resources, no clashes available the old-fashioned way, zoning him out, hoping that he lands on the Batarang, trying to mix up the timing, and every trade is going to currently work in Tekken Master's favor. He's welcome. Oh, he caught him! What? going to be a ton of damage! That was a beautiful read. One more, oh, yes! blocked! And the push block for Tech Mass. He wants space. Another block in the forward. Overhead. Oh and my god, again, look. Oh, Chip Devin. Get out of the air. No conversion, though. He Where's it going? Oh, in the low light now. No. What happened? It looked like Dragon connect, uh, committed oh. to the entire string. And Tech Master actually got hit by the last overhead. That was a huge drop Which, by Tekken Master. Wow. He had that. That was all Tekken Master and Dragon steals it he, with the low lightning at the end. Look at that slash smile. He knows he, knows. he, he got, got away with it. There. But look, in the fighting game world, we take those, of course okay? we do. We take those and Dragon luckily not converted on from that combo and Tekken Master a second chance at life to the EVO champion? Are you kidding me? That's Thank a problem. you very much. But right now, Tekken Master Taking that momentum away, getting the early life lead here in game number four. Someone's playing angry. He's got to. He's got to take this and he's got to shut it down quick. And again, boys from Dragon not allowing himself to fall into the fast-paced neck break momentum that Tekken Master is trying to enforce here in game four. And here we go, the conversion. This time he's going to try to land his combo. Other side. Uh, was it other side? I didn't see the cross-up well, indicator. You, you, oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> None of us know. That was a jump one, actually. And this time, Denial on the wake up. A little out of the range, doesn't quite get the anti-air. Great mix-ups from Dragon, but great blocks from Tekken Master. Yeah, and Dragon has made such a good comeback in this life bar. He was way behind. And Tekken Master with the up battering read to shut it down and get that first life bar in game four. Right, he can't be too comfortable. However, one hit from Dragon will get the job done. Charges it and goes for the low, able to get the mix-up. And wow, that wake the cage! You would think it's an actual good wake-up move watching Dragon play. He just. It's not good because you have to have your good meeting time against, but right now everyone's giving him too much time on his wake up. And he's connected every single one. Here's the lightning hands chipping away at Tekken Master's health. And now Tekken Master forced to retreat. Yeah, and you know he's gonna try to clash early on the next exchange. But Dragon trying to close out the set here and advance to the grand finals, guaranteeing himself at least $50,000. Whips that attack. Here's the meter burn forward three to keep it safe with the armor. Plus frames now. Great whip and a challenge. Tekken Master saying, no, sir. I will not watch your pressure. Oh, oh the same side. Disgusting. Why is this the inevitable? I'm Batman. That's why. <laughs> that is exactly why. The answer to everything in the DC lore, I'm Batman. Is that enough to force a game five, however? I'm Batman. Oh, okay, let's go with that. In real life, as Rip tries to be Batman, joining Forever King, <laughs> Dragon still continuing, gets the con the offense going, and great frame trap. Still trying to kill me? For contact, I will. Prepare. See what I'm saying? I'm so confused. I can't even keep it together. I don't know. <laughs> I saw a, a fake Batman. I think it was fake. I saw King. Now you're Batman. Take Everyone's Batman. Batman. It's so unreal. But and Dragon doesn't care about any no. of you. He's looking for the W. He's taking out all the Batmans right now. Dragon, if he can get this one, will advance to the Grand Finals. It's going to be a ton of damage. This might be in it. That is it. Dragon going to the Grand Finals, guaranteeing himself at least $50,000. You know, sometimes things go your way in fighting games, and sometimes they do not. And for Dragon, they went his way. And you could tell by that cheeky smile that he knew exactly that it did. Uh, unfortunate drop for Tekken Master, plus not the right decision after that. And Dragon stole a huge swing game. You know, if that game had gone the other way, we may be in a different position now than Dragon advancing to the Grand Finals. If you could quantify that, that was a $50,000 USD no. drop. I'm not sure what currency they use in Bahrain, but certainly a huge chunk of currency was lost in several key moments in that matchup. So it could have gone either way, but man, he's going to be looking back at that replay and crying. We're going to take a little break, a breather. I know everyone's hyperventilating. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. I don't know about yourself, but I am sitting here because I am a filthy plebeian casual. I did not do my preparatory work. Let's see how the pros prep for battle. When I walk onto the big stage for E-League, I'm just gonna treat it like any other day because you know, it's my job. And also, because I'm weird for some reason, I can't really play with long nails, so I just cut them. I am someone who is a big studier on players before matches. I'll try to see their tendencies, their habits, what they like to do in which situations. I usually don't do that much research, to be honest. I should like watch other top players, study them, look at their habits, but I don't do that. Before I hit you any kind of tournament, I always pray to my God that I do well. You go in the lab, you grind, and you keep on your mind about how you want to deny victory to all of those around you. Well, that uh, was interesting pre-game rituals. We, you had mentioned uh, that Tekken Master had stayed in Atlanta without returning. Yes. And I wonder, despite him uh, you know, failing in the last match, it certainly got himself already here. How important, uh, I think it can't be overstated, it is to just ready the mind and ready the body for something as big as being on the finals of the E-League stage. It, it's huge, yeah, no, no doubt about it. Uh, and, you know, he, even still, he still had that error, he still had that drop, but, you know, you can't look at it like that. I still think it was the better choice that he stayed here and, and feel rested rather than getting that huge trip back and forth in just a week. It's, that can't be worth it. Well... Uh, let's take a look at the standings of how we even got here. Uh, as you can see, Tekken Master, who had uh, dropped a rather clutch game, is waiting in the wings for the winner of Foxy Grandpa and Forever King. Uh, still, the uh, UK does have a chance at taking this all, as does Bahrain and as does the USA. How do you expect this one to go between Foxy Grandpa and Forever King? Yeah, these, these guys have played, um, and, and it's gone back and forth a little bit. You know, uh, for Foxy Grandpa, he told me he would just go dead shot, mm -hmm. right? I, again, I'm not sure if that is accurate. Um, I've seen the Batman mirror from him in the past. Uh, not sure if that's the right call today, but uh, certainly it's up to him. For Forever King, I, I expect the Batman. We, of course, saw him try out dead shot earlier tonight, and it didn't work. He went back to Batman and he did much better, even in a losing character matchup. So having that behind him, I would be surprised to not see Batman, even if it is some, some matchup that he doesn't like coming into this matchup now. I, I think that he's just going to stick with that character. I think it's the best bet. Forever King likes to pride himself in being the king of the bats and no one can even uh, challenge him in the prowess for commanding this character. Is there anything to prove, perhaps, uh, of either you know establishing yourself as the number one Batman? Do you, do you see anything over there? You know, I'm sure for him that does matter. Knowing King, I think that that yeah. does matter. Uh, does it matter enough to not make ten thousand dollars more than you could? <laughs> I'm not sure that it matters that much, but I think it does matter to him a little bit at least. Uh, well, it looks like Foxy Grandpa, as I caught in the corner of my eye, is donning the superpower. He's got the real-life DLC. Mm. Uh, you'll see it as the camera pans to them, but I'm wondering how that's going to play out. He is fully suited in tournament <laughs> mode. My goodness, look at yeah, that. Yeah, no, I, I, I really like that Foxy sometimes puts on the UK flag. Yep. He, of course, reps the scene out there, and uh, that, that matters to him. You know, he's, he's certainly the marquee player from the UK, from, probably from all of Europe. Uh, and he, he remains, you know, we'll, we'll see from him. Uh, we're going to head over to TBS. We will have the match coming up very shortly. I like to call him. If he can take this tournament, he will be the king of forever. He's going to evolve. The third form of Forever King is on the brink right now. And I honestly cannot wait to see what's about to happen. I mean, you and this crowd are a big, big fan of this guy. I mean, we'll see if he gets to keep his lordship. He is up against us. All right, guys, there we go. Let's make some noise. Get in there. And it's our match. It is exactly the match we expected as well. It's going to be this Deadshot versus Batman. It's really going to be about whether Foxy can keep him out. And his record against King is pretty strong. We can already see that walk-up delayed low. He goes for that so much. And already the knockback bullets as well, the blue. 
He's looking to keep that space away from Batman. And that's really good in this matchup. I mean, Deadshot does play that spacing game, but even more so with that trait in the electric bullets to get the knockdown is even better. But that does not stop Foxy Grandpa. <gasps> the oh. flip out on the grapple. We saw the same thing. And look at that delayed low again. He keeps catching people with that. He got Dragon with it a bunch of times earlier as well. Walk up, wait, 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 low. And it catches you. It makes you think he's going to go for that overhead option he has as well. So good presence of mind oh, from Foxy. Wow. And no pickup on it. The mechanical bat, it's the insurance. Always there to watch your back. Nice pickup, gonna push to the corner. What's the mix up? He's gonna stay on the same side, keep that corner oh. in favor. No, he's not. Switching, we're gonna use that grapple, throw him back. Come on, no. man. Where did that hit, Steve? I don't know, man. Nobody knows. Standing. Only Alfred knows. Off yeah. the elephant. <laughs> Even Alfred knows. <laughs> Alfred is at home. He's studying the frame data. He knows. Master <laughs> Wayne. He's got it all figured out. All right, releases the bats, but a lot of chip. That big buck on a rifle oh, with punish. Nice with the forward two to get that knockdown. Resets in the middle of the screen. I like the chase options that Forever King uses. Using that forward two Whoa. three just to stay in. And look at that evasiveness. I can't say Forever King plays Batman like Batman would actually move. Uses every terrain <laughs> to his advantage. Jumping and bouncing and flipping. That's what I like to see. When he spreads the wings like that, <laughs> one, that's how you know it's real, right? That's the real Batman. Only if he comes down from the rafters. All right, last life bar on the line in this first match. Tries to use the bat to get in. Nice challenge there by Foxy. Grandpa, 4-2-3 again, like I said before, just to cover a lot of distance. Has that mechanical bat. Whoa, the low. It keeps catching him at the max distance. Three bars apiece on this clash. All right, here we go. What's going to be the cost? Three. They don't want any, either one of these guys does not want to give up ground. Here we go, spinning a little bit of that meter. And the low again, and Foxy Grandpa doing so much damage right now. He's got a massive lead. King needs so much. The oh, slide. Get the slide. One, two, three. All right, he's in there. He's got another opportunity. Oh, Armor. the meter burn. Nice block by Foxy Grandpa. There's Those that. bullets. Oh. He knew he was coming down from the ceiling like a bat. He had to <laughs> read with the bounce. Good work from Foxy on that first game. He's a bat. You know he's going to go up there. It's common, man. Nocturnal. Everybody knows that about bats. There's this only a few true. things, right? This is true. Fall from the rafters, upside down, swoop in, take out the prey. We've seen it in every Batman comic ever yeah. and movie. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter which Batman it is. We all know that that's his game plan. 4-3, got the offense. There's nice. a bounce. Yeah, he used the background interactable bounce. Jump two this time. Throws him back in the corner. He wants that positioning. Nice wake up knee to get out of there. Oh, the Nine's delay. Every single time that delayed low keeps landing. When you when it waits a little while, you always think to yourself, oh, it must be the overhead. It must be the overhead. And it never is the bounce again. And man, if you're Forever King, I don't know if you want this background bounce anymore. I think if he loses again, he's got to try to get off this stage. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and on... The fact that he's using the background to move around a lot does not stop Foxy Grandpa from getting that ground and holding oh, Even the trade on that, everything is going Foxy's way right now. All right, burns a little meter just to keep it. You have to block those lows. Still trade it up with the back, going to use it for entry and not going to work out that wrist cannon. And Foxy Grandpa is making this look too easy right now. It's the Wild Wild West, Steve. He's getting jiggy with it with the wrist cannon. He's not worried about anything at this point. The Wiki Wild Oh, West. the Wiki Wiki Batarang. Down nice. two. Gets the, the grapple again. What side? Alfred. Master Alfred. Right. Oh, the overhead this time. It finally came out and the combo. Oh, man, that's brutal. This is the back one. Oh. He's in there with the offense. Forever King finally gets out. Nice block on the overhead, but he's going to have to do a lot if he's going to get out of this corner and run back to second match. He oh. changes the back dash with the 4-3. And just as I say that, ties it up with the life bar. All right, checking him again with that low rifle, making sure that he's on oh, his own. Oh, the meter burn. Nice. There's that background bounce you said again. Reset. What side? Ask Alfred. He knows. Oh, same side. What a block by Foxy Grandpa. Foxy probably knows Alfred, you know, they're from the same place. It makes sense that he got the block. The wrist cannons again, a decent amount of damage. And as usual, we're down to about no life here. Yeah, life bar is just about oh! to go over it, and Demeter Burn saves him. Uh oh, that was electric bullets with the extra knockdown. Yep, knocks you back. You see that every time you get hit by it, you get pushed full screen. You have to work your way all the way in against Deadshot. Oh, the overhead, the overhead cancel, and it works out for Foxy Grandpa. He goes up 2-0. 2-0 with the unclashable bullets. Foxy is looking unstoppable out there. And there, there is a uh, character select now. I mean, uh, Foxy is the one we're waiting on here. He's taking a swig. And uh, it looks like we're going out of there. So maybe King doesn't want to stay on the stage. Maybe he wants to change character. Either way, we're going to see what it'll be. It's going to take some really, really crazy adjustments to get him in versus a player like Foxy Grandpa. He's using the screen to his full advantage, burning meter, appropriately, as well as using that trait. It's helping him out so much. And by the time Forever King gets anything started, 
for every uh, Foxy Grandpa takes a round. Exactly. He just he builds that lead, and he really is comfortable on it. You know, he makes you. Oh man, nice. there's so much hits done. Down and two. And you set. What's going to be the choice? The grapple again. The same mix up as always. You don't know what side it is. So difficult to block, and you can see even world class players will consistently get hit by that. Yeah, and it's like you said, it's really hard to tell what side that's gonna be on. That's part of that vortex play that Batman had as, as at his disposal. Nice. Push block just to get rid of the mechanical bats, and that's gonna give Foxy Grandpa a chance. We went for the mix up. Good choice from Forever King to delay his wake up. Goes that pattering again. Uh oh. Ooh. Trouble now. He's gonna have the corner combo. This is decent damage. It gives him the setup at the end, too. Oh, he tried Ooh, to delay it. Wow. And King, he, he realized. He now recognized that the laid low is coming out, so he holds up on Wake Up to escape. That is the NRS classic right there. All right, Foxy Grandpa would have. Gonna have to take this round back if he wants to try and close this out. Forever King not trying to go down quietly, though. Yep, try to jump on Wake Up again. The gravity on that combo, a little weird. All right, nice block. Another push block. Foxy Grandpa, he knows that Batman wants to get in and apply that pressure. Ooh, the flow he got in there. Nice. From the rafters again, he's got the bat. Forward three. Corner positioning. He's going to restand him with this grappling hook. All right, reset. What side? Oh, just goes for the four three this time. Throws a little meter on it as well. The slide. Oh, clashes there too. So, not oh, a big deal nice. just yet. Getting that chip on the low rifle. Foxy trying to fight back. Walk under from Forever King. Oh, that jump back one for Foxy Grandpa. And instantly goes to that big buck hunter rifle. And he is down to the last life bar right now. With the knockback bullets again, trying to keep that distance. He needs the space. He needs a lot of life to make up too. But you know, when Foxy has this screen position, that's where he's strong. Mm -hmm. And there's another push block. Ooh, the late, late back one. It didn't combo though. And look at him go. He's building back this lead so quickly. Wake up, up battering trades. Oh, just at the end of that range of that low. And look at the life. We were on such a huge lead, but King has eight, a million bullets already. Oh, tries to go for the back one to get it started. Nice wake up meter burn there from Foxy Grandpa. He sees the end in sight, oh. gets hit by that meter burn bet, and a clash. The shots are getting closer. But you're still, still missing. missing. That's what I'm talking know. about, Batman. Because I'm Batman, Batman too. He is Batman. I know how he thinks. All right, here we go. He's on a pixel of life. Oh. Down three. The down three. He's Batman. He gets a game on the board. All right. See my boy Bruce call it out, but you're still missing. That's what I'm talking about. That was pretty good. I'll <laughs> give it to you, Steve. <laughs> you had me impressed. All right, you memorized it. All right, here we go. Now I know what you're doing when you're missing during rehearsals. It all oh, makes sense now. <laughs> so it's back to a new stage. Joker's Playground on this one. No more uh, interactable bounce in the background to work about, but a lot of explosive bomb interactables, which are really strong, especially for a character like Batman. Yeah, he has a lot of setups, actually, where he can get you into those situations where you, he makes you guess for interactable or a cross-up, and that's what you want. Man, wake up knee already from Foxy Grandpa. Uh, channeling his inner Tom Brady. Oh, wow. Those acid shots. Nice. Still has that trade up. Batman slowly moving in. No anti air, but still releases the bat oh. up at a ring. Oh. He thought he had the meter. If you can see in the bottom of the right, he was just shy of that bar that he has now. He uses it on the grappling hook. The setup. What side? Only Alfred knows. Back two three again. He's got the grappling hook. No meter to keep it up, so Foxy gets the back roll and escape. I like it though. Still gives him great screen positioning. And that's a, a great thing about that grapple. You still get the push, releases the bat, and then the up. What a read! Ooh, trying to get that wrist can, and he lands! The people's elbow, it missed though. See that back dash? Just throws the cape, there we go, using those interactables. Like I said before, a lot of movement oh. exploded this time, and like I said before, great awareness, wake up, meet a burn knee, and not guarding your knees. Foxy Grandpa finds the, the order. Reef, the elbow, he came down with it. He almost caught the jump back, Forever King living, and the chip damage. Like you said before, <laughs> he is prepared. Dropping the change on him. Bruce oh, Wayne does yeah. not keep coins in his wallet, man. He just dropped every piece of change that he had in his pocket. <laughs> what is this? A quarter? I'm rich. Throws it on. One day, Steve. One day. Oh, releases it. Got the grappling hook. Not enough. Uh, not in time, though, unfortunately, for Forever King. He's got to work his way in. The roll, but he put himself in the corner. Donkey Kong. Two oh. in a row. You're down. Here we go. Nice reset with the jump three just to stabilize him in the corner. Four, two, confirm off the electronic bet. Reset again. Alfred, what side? In the front, he's got the mix oh, up. Oh, he's jump. jumping out, tried to go for the throw in the clash. Trying to kill me. This is a contractual obligation. <laughs> a man of his morals, I like it. Two bars on that one. So a lot of damage done. Man, brutal on that to lose the clash. All right. Oh, he's oh. going to be able to drain some bar too. 
that has that that acid was definitely drains that part. Needs to be careful. Releases the bat. Oh, and this lead for Foxy. He's looking to close it out to jump in. King. Oh, the jump one. What Not an air to be air. Down. You can chip him out here with the low rifle. He flies above oh, it. Oh, that's Batman for you. Still oh. has the bat and the wrist cannon to take it. And he's going to eliminate forever King and Foxy. Grandpa moves on. Fourth place for Forever King. He clawed through the LCQ. He still made it far and he is- Well, you know, for Forever King, I I'm very happy for him because I still think that even though he ends up in fourth place today, he ends up fourth place throughout all of E-League. And I still think that he has played better in this last month than I've ever seen him play. Um, I do think that there were some errors, maybe not just in the game, but strategically going mm -hmm. to the dead shot pick rather than just sticking with Batman the first time he was up today. But even still, I, I'm happy for him. For his, for his sake, I wish it had, had gone better, but I think that he did play really, really well. We will have more action after this break. Don't go anywhere. Injustice 2 Road Championship presented by PS4. Are those the uh, guns that Foxy Grandpa was pointing in our direction? How to defend against that? Perhaps a pro player such as Dragon can give us some tips and some background and the lore of the characters. Let's check it out. Black Adam is an awesome character. He's one of my favorite characters in the DC comics. You're a fool. For me, I like characters that are really cool and they think highly of themselves. You may have two minds, but I have the wisdom of a god. They don't care what anyone says, they just do what they please. It's more likely you will die here. Child's play. 
Black Adam is the ruler of Kondok. He serves the people. Everything he does is for them, and he would give his life for them. A true leader serves his people. He's basically a god and a king. Amon's strength will crush your pride. What's really interesting about him is that he has many different styles you can play. You can play him very rushdown, you can play him very defensive. You can play him zoning oriented where you can throw lightning down. He has a whole bunch of different moves that make you scared to approach him. His best one is actually his super move. I mean, it looks like you're in a movie. He knocks you into a pyramid and then he calls down lightning which is awesome. It's my turn to rule. Well, it certainly looks like Dragon was well steeped in the lore. It's very important to discuss everything in terms of canon. Uh, speaking of cannons, though, we saw a lot of military firepower. The Union Jack... Uh, on Foxy Grandpa's back triggered me and reminded me of the importance of the Second Amendment. The British are coming, the Red Thoughts. The Red Shots are coming, and they're coming for the gold here. Dragon, of course, uh, perhaps able to defend, but first, it's going to be a battle of the internationals. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this match we have coming up. Well, they have played a couple of times. They played once at Evolution, EVO earlier this year, and Tekken Master won that very close. Um, mm. It was, uh, it was a close one. He tried Black Adam, didn't work out as well. He tried Atrocitus, and then it did work out. They later played at the IPS Finals, not that long ago, and Foxy won that. It was Brainiac versus Deadshot still, of course, for, for Foxy. So for Tekken Master, again, one of these situations where I'm not sure what we're going to see. You know, are we going to see the Brainiac? That's what he tried last time, but it didn't work out that well. Are we going to see the Atrocitus, which we did see? Are we going to see... Uh, a, a Batman from him. It seems like character he's playing a lot mm -hmm. lately. Are we gonna see maybe fate if he expects a Batman out of uh, Foxy Grandpa? Are we gonna see a Green Arrow if he expects a Batman out of Foxy Grandpa? It's just very, very hard to tell. Uh, I, I would expect Deadshot from Foxy, but you know what, for Tekken Master, I'm not sure what he's gonna be bringing right now, but whatever it is, it's gotta be the A game because you know this is right down to the end. Atrocitus, we haven't seen him yet today from Tekken Master. I have not seen Atrocitus yet today. No, it's we did his... see it last weekend. Yes, we did. Uh, and um, it did well. You know, he, he, will, he will tell you that he doesn't think that Atrocitus is all that great. But what? He's he won literally thousands of dollars with that character. He definitely has. But he will tell you that. Okay. Uh, and, and nevertheless, when he picks him, he, he does well. So, uh, again, he's, he's one of these guys who just has to game plan a lot and come in with a lot of different ideas, and he will try things out. We may see a last second audible. You know, when I, we were talking earlier when he came in versus uh, Forever King, mm -hmm. he had thought he was going to do Green Arrow, and then all of a sudden, last second, he thought, no, nah, it's fate's the right choice, and ended up going back to Green Arrow after all. Uh, as an avid player of Injustice yourself, how much uh, does one get to the point where you are a jack of all trades and a master of none? Uh, you know, Certainly, Tekken Master plays the entire roster. It reminds me a little of uh, a bit of infiltration on their yeah. fighting game player. Uh, do you think perhaps he's stretching himself a bit too thin if on his mind he needs to memorize the frame data, the moves, the punishes, the combos hey, uh, for, you know, five, five, four or five characters? Yeah, that, that, I think that's a concern. Time was, in the NRS scene, people would come in with three or four different characters. Okay. That, that is not as common nowadays. Maybe people have a couple of different characters, but you're no longer doing the five, six characters sort of thing, uh, with the exception of Tekken Master. He's, he's really one of the few who has kept that going. Uh, like I said before, I really think that he is one of the best players in the world and has been for some time. When Sonic Fox isn't there, his rec you know, he, he won Combo Breaker. I mean, he's, he's won situations where he doesn't have to play that guy. Uh, so I, I still think that he has a good shot. But, you know, I'm, I gotta tell you, I am a little disappointed yeah. that this is the last couple of internationals, right? One of the internationals has to go home. Um, even as an American, I was kind of hoping that we would see, you know, a little international grand finals, but Dragon, well, Dragon, the, Dragon has secured his spot in there. Certainly the TBS uh, crowd would have, uh, unless it's available there, I'm not sure what they would be watching. But of course, for the time zones as well, I think we have a lot of fans uh, now deep into the night that are trying to keep awake and cheer for their local player. But uh, Well, you know, in, in, in any case, 
top three is two thirds international players. That's awesome, right? I mean, it's three different countries represented, and for the NRS scene, for players of NetherRealm Studios games, I think that by itself is is really telling. I think that's huge. United Fighting Game Nations, we've got more action. Welcome back to the E-League Injustice 2 World Championship, presented by PS4. You know, before, uh, we had all this emoji, there was those two masks in Greek theater. The one of comedy and one of tragedy, and it was the sad face and the crying face. And the players, right, in, in the fighting game community, of course, very expressive. Let's see how these players actually fare when they win or lose a match. I want to see some salty faces. When you win a big match in Injustice 2, you pop off. It's what you do. When I win a big match, I get so hyped. When I won my, my spot at E-League, I just jump at the, <laughs> this stage. I'm gonna pop off by doing my signature throw slice. After a dominating performance against my opponents, I usually, you know, I'm happy about it. I feel good and I feel ready to go on in the tournament. When I win a big match, I'm just gonna start screaming. I don't wanna pop off too hard, actually. I want to get ready for the next one, because you tend to pop off, get too uh, satisfied with your win. I don't like that, you know, you, you beat someone, but have you won the tournament yet? Not really, so I'll pop off when it matters the most. When people see me winning, they know that I'm going to pop off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's what you do, brought to you by Geico. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see the winning face of many of the players in that video. They're gone. They're all gone. They're out of here. They are. They are out of here. But we still have a few players remaining. And the next one coming up 
is a, is a very interesting match to me, Foxy Grandpa versus Tekken Master. Uh, I, I, f I have felt that they are among the two best players in the world. These are two guys who both made grand finals at EVO, uh, and a certain Sonic Fox player happened mm. to be both. You know, all right, fine, Sonic Fox beat both of them. But they both made grand finals in Mortal Kombat X, and, and they have been strong players for, for years. Uh, Foxy Grandpa is, is a good player over there from the UK. He went home, by the way, in between these weeks, but... Uh, Crossed the pond. He did. It's an eight-hour flight. He told me it's not so bad. And he also told me that he regularly goes to sleep at six in the morning in the UK. And so over here in the East Coast time, this is basically He's the like time a real zone he grandpa. lives on anyway. <laughs> My goodness, he's on the elderly schedule. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see which, which characters they end up going with. Head to TBS right now. They are starting the match. And you see him, he's up in the air already, gets the trade call, and that's one thing you're gonna see a lot. Really mobile character, flying around the screen, takes that knockdown, switches sides. Plugging in the USB, gets the knockdown in the corner. Put him in the Matrix? I'm just saying, man. Deadshot finds a hit, gonna get that knockdown, fighting, fighting out of the corner. But there we go, taking a little meter with those acidic rounds. And you see, this is the problem with this matchup, right? He can fly around the screen, really make it tough to be zoned by a character like Deadshot, opened up low. This is corner positioning from Foxy. Question is, is there a wake-up attack? Oh, it the is. armor burn 4-3. Don't you dare, sir. And that's gonna be the first round. We talk about how much damage. No, he's got oh. the dive kicks. You can't talk about anything, Steve. The round's not over. He brings out the tentacles. Z is happy somewhere. Cross up. <laughs> the dive kick, and he got him. Brainiac. And this is the first time we've seen him pull out Brainiac this entire world championship. So I feel like it's the right time. But the bounce bullet to call it. He's done it. He knows how to do geometry. He's not some <laughs> uncultured American who doesn't know math. He's figured this one out before. Trajectory, not an issue for Foxy Grandpa. Tried to get the confirm, missed it. There's the trade pressure, got him again. And there's a knee too. He's really bringing out all the tricks to try to, you know, escape this pressure, get away from him. Look at the dive kicks. And another dive kick, but what a flip out by Foxy Grandpa. Two bars committed though, and that means that this combo, yeah, he has to go for the clash. Guns for big game. Meter is in favor you of dead shot. Die by other means. Oh, Jesus. The yeah. Brainiac guy, uh, he's pretty intense. Yeah, the shadow on him with the, the glowy eyes. Uh, I'm all right, I like it. And there's that backdash from Foxy Grandpa just to get away. You have to play a different range versus a character like Brainiac. That dive kick changes it. And like you said before, the fact that he has a very tricky air dash is something you have to pay attention to as well. What a confirm out the air from Foxy. Oh, the geometry as well. He's ready on those bounces. And Tekken Master struggling to get in now. Those angles, meter burns it. This is going to be big combo damage. Oh. Tentacles. Two bars, almost Jesus, the chip. The damn it! Did you see the roll cage tentacles? First game goes to Tekken Master. Calls down the boys. Get this guy out of here. Beam him up to the ship. Add him to the collection. It's no problem for Tekken Master. And you can see why this matchup is tough for Foxy, right? He really can't keep his distance like he wants. He has to commit to stuff like trick shots. And when he does that, he loses the ground control that he normally has. And that dive kick again. You don't want to challenge in case he meter burns. It spends bar on the follow-up. That's the follow-up you saw right there. It's, it's dangerous. And it's really something that you don't want to have to deal with. Out of the air again. You can't go air to air. And that's one of Deadshot's cool. biggest strengths. Look how, look how much ground he's gotten from the air mobility of Brainiac. It's not stopping Foxy Grandpa, who's had a lot of situations like you see right here, in the corner, knockdown, activates trait, and look at this damage. Even though he doesn't do that much, Deadshot can definitely hurt you. Looks for the chip, not gonna be enough, very close though. Uh-oh, meter burns the dive kick, gets the back three and the corner switch as well. Takes that 500 damage, the cross up, dive Ooh. kick, and the flip out. He wanted to live, he does, he spends the bar for it, but he was willing to do it to take the round. And look at how much ground the Tekken Master got back just at the end there, keeping it close enough where he can still close oh. out this first. What get a that read. first life bar just to keep it close. These matches are going back and forth, and this is exactly what I expected to see. Yeah, these two, you, they played a lot, as they mentioned. You can see it. They're really familiar with each other's styles as well. That trade call out, you see Foxy ducking it, blocks it, and there's a punish. I like the fake out on the air dash, just doing the jump attack and then going for the dive kick, but Foxy Grandpa prepared. With that jump in again, he's so afraid of the air mobility, right? And he can't go air to air like he usually does, which is one of Deadshot's biggest strengths. Yeah, that jump one's not gonna be as effective because of all the tools Brainiac has in the air. And he has that mobility on top of that. That's not even including the fact that he has that trait that's gonna give him even more coverage. Look at that movement coming in again, gets the knockdown, corner pressure in oh. Brainiac's favor. No stage transition, gets the knockdown in the corner. This is gonna look good. Drops off the package, goes off the computer. What's, oh, and we're going through a transition. And you know what's scary? When you flush those animals down the toilet and you think they're dead, oh my god! 
Nice raise. Tra transition again. It's gonna be. Oh, the dive kick. He needs anything to close it out. We're just looking for Chip now. Swings, George of the jungle. <laughs> Foxy Grandpa, the mix up. He stuffed the wake up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So, so many guns. Oh, there it is. All right. He was ready with the button. That's two games now for Tekken Master, who's looking to move his way back into the grand finals. What did I say, man? The beast from Bahrain. This dude is looking a little too sharp these days. The first Brainiac pick we've seen out of him. I believe this entire World Championship season. Ooh, down two at the start, the pickup. He didn't get the rest of it. Meter burns it, there's a punish. But again, without a you know a background bounce or bar, it's not like Foxy's getting a huge punish, so he's okay committing to those dive kicks. Yeah, those little pennies for damage is not gonna stop uh, Tekken Master from doing a lot of damage. I believe it's pence. Mm, mm, yeah, pence. not pennies. Okay, all right, okay. Pick up out of the air. He's got that juggle off the back one too so many times now. Oh. Foxy! Look at the look at the conversions coming from Foxy's grandpa. It's it's crazy how ready he is for this. He has really adjusted his game plan. Much more close bounce shot, and he's sticking to that uh, that wrist shot as well. He's done a good job of really switching up the options. Tekken Master in now. And I was gonna make a statement about the life that he had, but he still has quite the life lead going into the second life bar. Tekken Master. Punish. There it is. Foxy's prepared. He gets a little staggered pressure after. Ooh. Oh wow. The wake up knee it didn't connect, but it at least allowed him to escape that position. Foxy Grandpa's been using a lot of resets to keep Tekken Master on his toes, and it's definitely worked out. Only when he can get a hit, though. Again, that tray is really locking Foxy down, preventing him from moving around. There we go. Shots again. Full screen and goes right to those that meter drain bullet. Uh oh, here we go. Back three. He's gonna be able to side switch back to the corner. No, he wanted the damage to try to close it out, and the dive kick does it. He's still got a chance. If he gets a couple of those dive kicks, the damage on this character is so high. Ooh, he went air to air. He tried it. The air to air is a good option from Deadshot, but it loses to that dive kick, so he's got to be very careful. Moving in slowly. Foxy Grandpa second guessing his approach, and there's a clash. Meter in favor of Deadshot, though. I don't really know what the idea was. Yeah, Foxy's for sure going to just spin this. Three oh, bars, three ties bar. it up, so he's got one left. The bounce again, the pickup. And another conversion, Foxy Grandpa, oh and my god. Steals even more meter from Tekken Master, more life as well. This is looking brutal for him. Oh, wow, what an interruption on that string. Raw dive kick Tekken jumps. Tekken Master. He's trying to bring this back. Ooh. Oh, the read again, he knows. Close bounce shot. He's really looking for that trick shot and trying to catch Tekken Master on the approach. It's very safe to do because even if that shot whiffs in front of you, what are you gonna do as Brainiac, right? You're so far away, it's not really threatening to do. It's a really smart choice and Foxy's clearly figured that out. On top of that, he's just holding back. So he's mm. gonna get that full screen advantage even if it completely whiffs, like you said before. Begin. Going right back into the game, saving the stage, staying here, interactable early to start from Tekken Master. Whiff on the dive kick, Tekken Master caught him. Trade activation, there's the jump one. Foxy changing up his timing a little bit, and you gotta watch those bounce shots. Yup, the close bounce shot again. Tekken Master delaying his approach to deal with it. Oh, not able to make anything happen on that jump in. I thought he was gonna give him a clean punish, but nothing. Knock down again, no Ooh. trade up, no. Look at Foxy, he's really starting to figure out the exact angles. Nice pickup, he realized that it was a little late for the back three, but he still had what he was looking for. Gets the jump in again, tries to activate the trait, interrupts the interactable, and wow, Tekken Master. We're putting on a clinic in this first life bar. Just about half life left on that first life bar. His foxy grandpa has to make something happen. And he held that trait the entire time at the end there for that chip out at the end with a dive kick. Good work. Knee, all right. He's starting to bring this back. He needs maybe a few more bullets. Dive kick. I like how he pushed himself out of the corner with that combo. Couple of wake up knees now from Foxy. Oh, and there the it low. is. That delayed low every time, right? He walks up, waits, lets you stand up. Boom, check the legs. And I like the damage that he's getting off of it too. Just small pieces of damage. Then he can Ooh. once again another conversion with that trick bullet. And he's taking a lot of meter from Tekken Master. He's got that green trade on, allows him to steal your meter. Who flies out of there? Knee's not effective, but the angles are just impossible. Tekken Master can't find the way in the way he has before. That's why he has the meter burn roll. He hasn't done that the whole time. We saw what that does for a game. You have to spend that resource, but Ooh. at least you get that that ground. And everybody knows spacing is really important in a game like Injustice. Foxy Grandpa finds another hit and he takes the life lead to stay alive in this set. Ooh, stealing even more meter, trying to deny Tekken Master. Any of those resources rolls in. I like the meter burn, just slightly out of range, not able to make anything happen. And another button from Tekken Master and a clash. Deadshot has the meter this time around. He can get this life. Yeah, got a couple of bars to spend. 25% life back for Foxy. Allows him to zone even longer. 
Oh, that back one. Have to be careful. Ooh. Naked Master still does have that bar. We've seen those meter burn dive kicks get him a lot of ground. Uh oh. And the throw, the first one we've seen all set. This is not going to be it. But it's very close. A meter burn rifle will chip him out, and he knows he is going to jump the right angle again. And Foxy has brought it back to a piece. That trick shot brought him back. Yep. <laughs> it brought him back so well. Lots of damage, leaving nothing on the table, taking every inch of life that he can, even using that chip to his advantage. And now Tekken Master thinking about a character switch. I know that's what it is. You can see the nerves on his face. This is it. This is his moment to try to get into that grand finals, get his revenge on Dragon and a chance at 150 grand. I mean, if you go home here in this match, $20,000 is nothing to scoff at. It's a lot of money, but an opportunity to get a second chance for all that money. Here it is, the rematch. Oh, wow. Same character, same stage. Final match between these two. Oh, wow. And we heard Tekken Master actually tweeted out moment, moments before this that this is do or die for him. And it is. This is do or die on the tournament. Last opportunity for both of these guys. <gasps> dive kick the pickup with the trade. Tekken Master, the awareness of his character. And look at the life lead he has already. Oh, what? Bounce again. Again. Man, that trick shot has gotten him so much ground. Stealing meter again, and this time finds his way over the trick shot. Ooh, the flip out at the end. He wants out of there. The knee gets away. Oh, another dive kick in that first life bar is all Tekken Master needs. And now the second one. But we've seen this so many times, Steve, where mm -hmm. Foxy, you know, he loses this first life bar, then brings it back. He makes those reads, the calculations on where you're going to move, dive kick. And another flip out. Four bars committed already from Foxy on flip outs in this game. It's a ton of me uh, resources to lose. It's a lot of meter on the line, and you really need that for everything in this game. The dive oh. He's too prepared. He's seen it before. Down to trait. And we've got great corner positioning. Tekken Master, he's really come alive in this last game. Mm -hmm. Down to not looking good for Foxy Grandpa. He's gonna need almost a miracle to bring this back. He would look for the knee he wants chip. Anything will chip at this point. Foxy needs one bullet, and it's the bullet we've seen over and over. That close trick shot. Final life bar between these two. Oh my god. This all right, here we go. Needs to be really careful. You see Foxy Grandpa walking to the end of the stage. He want he needs to tie up this life. Uh oh. The Ooh, the dive kick. Did not mean to burn it though. Wasn't sure. Get off of me, sir. I don't know you that well. What a throw tech. And a clash. Two meters a piece. What is it going to be? I gotta both spend it both, right? I mean, unless. You have to. Yeah, there we go. Do. Two bars a piece. And this is it. Last oh. moment. Dive kick. The neon wake up. He stuffed it in the clash. And he has one bar. Is he going to get that he life back? So He's got it. He needs 15%. If he doesn't, he's going to die by anything at this point. Bar for Foxy. This is it. Clash not in effect anymore. Put got up a real shut up man. Time. Gets over the bullet this time around. Block punish. It. Uh oh. Back one. A lot of damage. Tekken Wait. Master. He needs to make it in. Stealing that meter. He's no. got bar. Oh, he reads it. Oh. He read the roll. Foxy's prepared. He's trying to get back into grand finals. One more bullet. He never misses the air to air. Dive kick. Try to get the punish. Floyd Lawton living up to the name right now. Dive Blocks kick. it. Oh, the defense and the jump back again. You saw the jump one. The anticipatory jump one. He made it burst it. Oh my god. Foxy Grandpa steals it away from Tekken Master to move on to Grand Finals. Oh my god. After all of that, he was down the hole. Look, I can't believe how many close trick shots worked out. That requires such patience. It requires both an expectation of what's coming up and then the actual reaction of it. It's so tough to do. You just see, oh, he shoots the thing. It goes like that. No big deal. But what goes into that choice, I think, is super impressive. Man, Foxy Grandpa played that so well. I'm sad. Tentacle Master Bahrainiac has been slain by the shots. Uh, they just ricocheted and it found its mark so many times. I'm telling you, we need some control. The Nether Realm Association, <laughs> we need some gun control on this Foxy Grandpa. He is on an absolute tear here. Uh, UK moves on. Yeah, there are only two countries left. It's just the US and the UK. There are only two players left, of course. It's Dragon and Foxy Grandpa remaining now. That's all I we got. It. That's all we got. Everybody else is gone. There's been a long process in E-League and two remain. What is the financial implications of this upcoming match? I mean, this, if you were to call it a money match, this is in, you know, thousands of dollars on the line right This now. is $100,000 on the line. First place, $150,000. Second place, $50,000. We'll be right back with the victor. 
$150,000 on the line here. The championships up next. The E-League Injustice 2 World Championship presented by PS4. We have whittled down the competition and only two remain. It's taken us a few weeks, but the competition has been distilled to this very match with $100,000 on the line here. Yes. First place versus second place is a $100,000 gap. Now, we have seen this matchup before, Dragon vs. Fox America. In fact, we Where saw have we it. seen this? Well, we saw it not a couple hours ago at the first round of this uh, Match today, Dragon versus Fox Nappa. Mm -hmm. It went three to one. It was it was tough. Now it didn't need to be three to one. I felt like was it uh, a close three to one or was it like a you know dominating? The beginning was close, I thought, but the last game was definitely uh, a blow up. Dragon was in control. He was waking up with forward one. He was waking up with lightning cage. Options that do not need to be <laughs> respected. But Foxy Grandpa was sort of put into a situation where he did respect them. So Dragon. Uh, I felt like was just able to do what he wanted. And he has had some time now to think about this. Typically, I feel like the loser coming into a matchup, into a rematch, has mm -hmm. the advantage. But Dragon has had time to sit and wait and think. Uh, whereas Foxy Grandpa uh, has not really. Of course, he just had to beat Tekken Master. Uh, meanwhile, Dragon was able to just hang out and, uh, and, and sort of game plan, I think, for what's coming next. Actually, it's been a while as we ran through the winner's brackets and then down to the losers, uh, Dragon has not played for a while. He's sat right. and meditated and uh, it remains to be seen if he could sort of get all those jitters out. And But maybe the testosterone uh, just running, coursing through the veins right now of Foxy Grandpa as he had to play like monster after monster. Yes. I wonder how uh, he must be feeling right now. But 
Of course, being from the UK, a man's is never hot. Never. You know, Dragon's E-League has been pretty remarkable. He beat Bambuka 3-0. He beat DR Gross after that 3-0. He then beat Forever King 3-2-1, excuse me. Uh, and then that was to qualify into the thing today. He then beat Fox's Grandpa 3-1. Then he beat Tekken Master 3-1. This kid has not lost more than one game versus anybody. You think Fox's Grandpa can come back from that? Can he not, he not only win more than one game, he has to come back and win the first set. This is Grand Finals. There's a reset potentially coming in if Foxy Grandpa were to win the first three out of five. I'm not sure we can win two. No. You so, know, it's, it looks tough. Mm -hmm. He has a comeback, uh, you know, for people that are not familiar with the double elimination bracket, being in the uh, winner's side, that means he has a set, an entire set to experiment and to give. Uh, Foxy has to win two. So. Right. Despite, you know, sort of uh, icing himself on the side while he waited for his eventual opponent, he does have a huge advantage uh, in, already in the lead, if you will. Whoa! Yeah, for sure. No, I, I think that he's in a great position. Uh, as we said at the start of this, Dragon was many people's pick to win the whole thing. In fact, when E-League began, many people identified, you know, a sort of small set of players, Sonic Fox, of course, Dragon, Theo, Samij, or a few others. But certainly Dragon was right up at the top of that as well. And, and he is the only one of those players remaining uh, who made it to today. But now he's, of course, the only one remaining at all. Dragon, I think, is in a great spot. You know, if I had to take an educated guess, I don't think the people here on Twitch are here, certainly not to watch me. Uh, maybe your fans are, are lurking in the chat. I believe they waited all night for this very moment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to finally Introduce the Fighter Pack 3. Let's take a look at that right now. on the magic lady. We fight as a team, Mikey. Fine. about that <laughs> what is what universe are we living in you know oh i thought God. as you know the data miners are going through this and there was going to be ultra instinct shaggy blanco <laughs> yeah, shaggy. and i thought all right there is certainly nothing that could trump that in terms of just the absurdity but here we are 2017 on, on the edge oh on the eve God. of the finals and we're dealing with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess, yeah, that's insane. I How guess. does that work? Are they, do they work as one? Are they four separate characters? Uh, that's what I'm saying, I don't know. There are more questions uh, than we have answers. I am absolutely perplexed oh, as to how they even infiltrated this universe. How that, can they cross right? the streams it's like a, that? There's a multiverse, all right. It could be that in one of these universes, guess what, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exist. God, I hope they put April in there. We're gonna find out, it's gonna be, the grand finals <laughs> of E-League Injustice, two world championships right after this break.
Welcome back to. Uh, is, this, is this what esports has come down to now? I am absolutely shell shocked and appalled that they are dealing with this multiverse, even though we have literally a $100,000 money match in Injustice 2 coming up. I think a lot of people on the internets and in the real world are just shaking with either anger or a lot of anticipation and happiness. I can't imagine anybody's mad about that. Can you be mad Splint, about that? Uh, Shredder certainly is mad right Maybe now. Maybe Shredder's unhappy, that's right, but he'll have to hold that. That's how it goes sometimes. Winners, uh, Grand Finals is coming up in a very short period of time. It's gonna be Foxy Grandpa, of course, versus Dragon. Uh, again, this is going to be a rematch from just earlier today, round one uh, earlier today. 3-1 in Dragon. Uh, let's see what these players are actually playing for on the line. Look at that spread. 150,000 or 50,000. Now, either one of those is pretty cool. They're both all right. But I got to tell you, that six-figure difference between the first and the second is as big as, I, as I've ever seen. That is gigantic, and wow. More than a money match on the line. This is a mortgage match on the line. <laughs> it's, and you, it could be the difference between uh, getting a brand new Tesla or riding public transportation for a year. I mean, a lot of it, especially, I mean, I could not fathom at the ages of these players uh, what to do with this absurd amount of money. And I wonder, on top of that pressure, right, a lot of people and a lot of friends and family are watching, including cosplayers, they must be shocked at the inclusion of the new DLC character. So they need to yeah. get all their emotions and expectations right. on check uh, and treat it like they are simply in a vacuum with their opponent and really focus on what's going For on sure. here. sure. Yeah, if you are Dragon and Foxy Grandpa right now, everybody's freaking out about TMNT. All right? Everybody thinks that's wild. Uh, I'm sure they're among them. And they have to tamp that down. They have, to, they have to go back 20 minutes in the past and remember their feelings before they knew about that and just play. But these are two very experienced players, and I think that they will be able to do that. I think that we're going to see their best coming up. Foxy Grandpa, in that last match we saw uh, versus uh, Tekken Master, he played so patiently, and he was so ready for so much. And, and that's what you need to do as Deadshot. You have to have all those things, and he did them, and that, I think, is a great sign for him coming in. He certainly played better in that last match than we saw when he first played against Dragon earlier today. So I think he's coming into this okay. But as we said before, I do think that Dragon has an advantage, not just because he can lose the first set of three out of five and be okay, but also because he has been just hanging out for the last little while, hasn't actually had to play. He's just been able to think and game plan. Dragon, uh, you know, he of, of course is in a very, very fortuitous position, but does he have what it takes uh, to come out of the loser's bracket? What happens in that scenario? When he won EVO, for example, did he do it with a straight shot all the way? We know that, you know, Sonic so. Fox is very legendary for climbing his way out of the loser's bracket, but I wonder how that's going to play out. He's going to close him out in the first set, or is he going to let Foxy Grandpa have another tail with those nine, the QB nine tails? and live on. We're gonna find out very soon in the Grand Finals E-League in just two World Championship right over here. Pick one out if you try. There's no possible way, but he can pick and choose the matchups he want. He does go with Black Adam. And the real story of this matchup, the last two times these guys played, Dragon, immediate adjustments, and also very, very, very smart about what he chooses to do on offense. I feel like the fact that Foxy Grandpa has to play this match so slow is what gives Dragon the edge. Yeah. He has to work so much harder to close out versus a player like Dragon, as well as Black Adam, which even though just recently he has nerfed on damage, still can make explosive comebacks, especially with the proper reads. Yeah, and I mean, Dragon's young. He's got all the time in the world to play slow. The, the clock is ticking on Foxy, not him. So he has that ability to just grind down and play a slow pace, methodical matchup. As you can see, Foxy, he's looking to take it to dust too, right? He's trying to play CS. That's the goal here. Mm -hmm. That's all he cares about. Get those bullets, really try to build on that lead. Oh, what oh, a choice. Nice to stop that dive kick. Not able to convert any damage off of it. And that exchange comes out in favor of Dragon. He's going to push to the corner as well. Stomp on him, almost chip, and he puts on the trade again. Yeah, Foxy, no way to deny the kill from those orbs. Those are unblockable and do damage as soon as you touch them. That's why you saw in those other games, going for the throw might be the better option. Dispense those orbs, get the throw, and not take as much damage on that initial come in. So much advantage here, he has to respect it. Wake up knee with a read, and Dragon, he's trying to close this one out quick. 
Pressure again, more advantage. This time the throw, and Foxy, he's in big trouble. The deficit is humongous. Oh, wow, and look at the life lead the Dragon has right now. Okay, there we go. First life bar down for Foxy Grandpa. Now, he's going to have to do a lot. It's going to take more than one bullet to close this one out. I can tell you that. Yeah, he reloaded the clip, but he's in trouble for sure. Those orbs will spell death if he gets too close. So now, just to roll in the jump. Oh, wow. Man, what a good exchange, but it did not work out for Foxy Grandpa Dragon takes that first game. Did you see Foxy actually walked forward? He was trying to get hit and force a clash. He wanted some life back, but he just didn't get the opportunity. Dragon, so smart, so calculated. And now Foxy's got to think about it. As you mentioned earlier, he did get beat up in this matchup against Dragon last time. And it's the same kind of slow, methodical style that's very tough to crack. All right, once again, back to that slow game. Tries to use that interactable, unblockable coming from those superpowers with the super strength. So nice evasion there. With push challenge. Block. Yeah, he just push blocks to escape, get that space. And you see that trade? Oh. He went up there. He knew that down one was coming, right? He wants a low profile under Black Adam. So that's why he leads with that big back to the overhead, but a punish from Foxy. Yeah, dashing out of the range of that black match and then getting back to ground. Uses the interactable for the bounce, but drops the combo. Keeping in the middle of the screen, you see Dragon try to challenge up close. Goes for a dive kick and Foxy Grandpa taking his time walking back. Palpatine hands, no. Another Ooh. exchange. Tried that wake-up cage. The delayed low catches him every time, and Foxy gets the life bar. Now, like Rip said before, Foxy Grandpa, if he hopes to even have a chance, he has to reset. That means he has to win three games before Dragon wins three himself if he wants a chance. Ooh, got three of those out of the air, stealing that bar from Dragon. You hear him cooking, you hear that sizzling, that is still in meter. Yep, frying it up, getting that chip damage now. Foxy with a huge life lead here. And Dragon, he likes to play it slow, but when he's down this much, he's got to go in. Oh, finally unleashing that air. Risk cannon. And there you go, just block all that. You have a life bar lead. It's really not smart to overextend, especially versus a player like Dragon. We've talked about how explosive he is, how calm he is, how Ooh. calculated he is. And Chip's going to be a big problem now for Dragon. Yep, the throw defensively out of the corner, so he loses that positioning. And you, if, if you're Foxy Grandpa, you'll take all of that. You will take that throw to get out of the corner because you know it's, you have enough meter to essentially chip Dragon to death at this point. Yeah, exactly. All he needs is one good read on the trick shot. Uh-oh. Speaking of one good read, that black magic. All right. Ends it. Ooh. He wants that set up afterwards, the push block. Foxy, he's he's got to be careful about letting this happen. To a couple of good reads now. Uh-oh. And yeah, the clash was coming. All right, now if you're Dragon, do you spin one of your bars just in case or no? He needs it for the meter burn dive kick or the black magic. Yeah, he's got to save the bar. That's why Foxy spins one as well. The read here, dive kick. Oh, what? down two. No combo though, the chip. Yeah, there was a delayed wake up, which was a smart idea, but still denied it with the meter burn low rifle. I like the character select from Dragon as well, because I think allowing Foxy to have that uh, interactable bounce is too important. You got to try to get a stage that doesn't have it. Also, if you notice, um, Dragon actually laid on the ground for a split second, yes. and then Foxy Grandpa actually delayed a uh, right for a split second just in case, because if he would have laid there and used that delayed get up, he would have avoided it completely. Yeah, meter burned it as well, so guaranteed that chip. Good work, and now we got ourselves another match. We're tied up one apiece. Toss with the camera at him. Oh, right the there's that tricky cross, that cheeky cross up again. Yeah, brutal there. Chases down that back roll and the throw after as well. He's been making him respect that. We look for the lightning, but couldn't find it again. Yeah, the bullets are too fast. You gotta summon lightning, right? You shoot a bullet. <laughs> you gotta summon that. You know, it's like an Uber. You gotta wait a while, you know, for it to get there. The low, nice. I love the patience by Foxy Grandpa. No matter how big the life deficit, it's all about the lame game. All right, checking him again with that lightning chip. We're about even on life here, but again, Black Adam, that explosive damage output. You know that he's always threatening. Dive kick is a threat. That's why he jumped back. He was afraid of it. Push blocking again. Oh, Ooh. wow. Finally gets it. And there we go. First life bar, game three. Going to drag. Walking him down, checking him with those Palpatine hands. That delayed back one again. Oh, he is really fishing for it there. Foxy yeah. Grandpa fighting his way out of the corner. I like it. And the delayed get up again. Dragon completely aware of the options that Foxy Grandpa has. Goes for the dive kick in the corner. Electric brooms, keep him there. Yeah, and the, the best part about that was the low profile. Oh, the bomb on the way out. There was a whiff cancel from Dragon, but still didn't matter. All right, here we go. Throws the interactable again. Foxy just stayed ducking the wake up knee. He's got offense oh, now. Finds him with the low and there's a clash. No Black Adam has no two box. bars, so he's probably gonna spin one because Foxy Grandpa doesn't have any. Yeah, spend the one, get 15% life back. 
That's essentially a full life bar. That means Foxy Grandpa is going to have to work a little harder. Tags him in the face with that jump back shot. And there's the low rifle as well. Yeah, he, try, he tries to stand up a little too early and gets clipped by the rest of those bullets. Uh, speaking of getting clipped, and there's a clash. Foxy Grandpa probably going to get that 15% back just to stay in the fight. He needs it. Yeah, the bar is useful, but life is even better. Ooh, the out of the air again. He's so good at confirming that too. The Whoa. sweep? Wow, you rarely see down three out of him. Oh no, he got through the bullet. This could be a kill. It is. Dragons up two to one over Foxy here. And this next match could spell it all for Dragon. He can take home the world championships if he closes out this match. Foxy Grandpa needs to make something happen. Yeah, he's in big trouble now. This is the part where it gets Begin. tough. He's going to need two games and then another set after that. What a clean down two at the start of the round. The good uppercut anti-air. Oh, the low again. Not able to convert fully, but it's more than enough to get that knockdown, reset the position, and nice push block on the trait and a jump one. And look at the life lead Foxy Grandpa has. Not a lot of damage, but more than enough. Well, this is going to be more than enough to possibly almost tie the life up. Ooh, nice baits reversal. out the cage. Oh, and it's brutal. That, that little walk back after the back one, really smart, right? He's trying to space it. Yeah, he's spacing him out just like that, trying to make him whiff. And delaying that, uh, delaying that low is actually helping him out a lot. That way he can react to the wake-up lightning cage and still get that punish just properly. Even if you're late on it, at least you're not taking that combo damage that you get for guessing wrong. Wrist for the black again. magic. Yeah, every time you do that black magic on block, he's going to hit you with that wrist cannon. It's going to be trouble. All right, he's going to have the corner here. Takes the knockdown. Backdash, he was looking for it. Yep, the oh! Ooh, look at him just holding back to wait for Foxy Grandpa to bounce off that interactable. And there goes another life bar. Final life bar on the line right now. Foxy Grandpa needs to stop him. And that interactable just barely out of range. The jump back again. The neon wake up, of course. He cornered himself. Oh, and that's a low and This is not looking too good for Foxy Grandpa. He needs to make something happen right now. The backdash again. He was looking for wake up overhead. Man, that forward one on Wake Up, so consistent from Dragon. The orbs came out and Foxy push blocked. He still got to keep the orbs. That is Black Adam privilege if I've ever seen it. Gets 4-3. For okay, now what's going to happen? Foxy Grandpa does have two bars. Will you take the life? Oh, and he takes the two bars on top of that Dragon, not guessing, keeping the one bar. He knows he can close this out. Anything can happen, finds the overhead, stomps on him. What's going to happen? Dragon. He's one hit now, $150,000 on the next hit. He got him out of the air, not a juggle. The orbs, Chip's a big problem. Looking for it. Oh, oh, didn't commit to the overhead and the interruption. And Dragon takes it, the world champion. And Injustice 2 goes to Allegiance Dragon. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Just like that. And he is just such a difficult player to beat. He's always prepared for every option. He studies so hard. He works so hard. He's prepared for everything that Foxy brings out, right? He loses the game, but it doesn't even matter. What a guy. He is incredible, and he's already on the stage. You can see him talking there to Mr. Joshua Gray. And, you know, it was just an incredible performance from him. We're going to head down to the stage where Josh is standing by with Dragon for our post-game pop-off presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. After one hell of a season, we have now crowned our champion. Dragon, you are the undisputed best Injustice 2 player in the world. What does that mean to you? you. Uh, it means everything to me. I mean, I put everything into this game. I put all my hard work and dedication. You know, I work so hard at this game, people don't realize how much I actually put into the game. And it actually showed here, and it showed at even, it showed everywhere. And I'm so glad I could be a part of this and, you know, finally uh, win something huge. <laughs> when we saw you win EVA, you started to change a lot of people's minds on who can be the best of the best. Right. Now that you've done it, has there been a moment where you struggled, you thought, okay, I know what my obstacles are, I've got to overcome them, and when you were sitting in that chair knowing you had one match left to go, what was going through your mind? Right, I mean, there's always obstacles for every player, as well as I have my obstacles to go through. Um, what I was thinking during that match, or when I sat down, is I wasn't thinking, okay, this match is for $100,000. I can't do that. I got to stay calm, which is one of the things that I do well, and I just thought of it as another match. And I stuck to my game plan, and it worked. Another match where you're taking home $150,000. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have helped you to make it to this moment. Who would you like to thank? 
Uh, I'd like to thank first of all my sponsor, Allegiance. You know, they, they've been great to me so far, a new sponsor, you know, I love them. And also shout outs to all my training partners, you know, mainly Theo, he's an awesome guy and he's helped me get better in this game. So I owe a lot to him to be honest. And just uh, everyone really, the, all of you guys who came out here, make this possible, you know? Yeah, so shout outs to just everyone really. It's great, it's great. Oh, oh, one more shout out. Shout out to uh, my biggest fan, which is my sister. She always watches every single matchup. So I wanna give her a shout out. Dragon, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your Injustice 2 world champion, Dragon. How incredibly wholesome, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to the sister at the end. He can't spend any of that money popping corks. What a sweet, sweet <laughs> child. He is such a nice little boy. He really is. I thought it was gonna be, you know, it was gonna get into his head. He's one of these eSports players, but he gave love to everyone in the world. I was sold that as being a post-game pop-off, and I'm not sure that it lived up to that, but he's certainly a very, very nice fellow. It was like a reverse spirit bomb. Every human being and living creature on <laughs> yeah. the world got a shout out, including, of course, last but not least, his uh, dear sister. So, what can you say to that? Uh, but I was very uh, surprised to hear that it wasn't uh, someone local to him that was his training partner at, in Sonic Fox, who's regarded as one of the best in the world, but it was actually Theo. And, you know, it's these little allegiances and practicing uh, partners and sparring partners that really get you to the top. So that was very interesting for, for me sure. to hear. Yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of Sonic Fox, Sonic Fox has been the dominant force in NetherRealm Studios games for the last three versions. Played Injustice for 1 sure. through Mortal Kombat X, through the beginning part of, of Injustice 2. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I think we may have a new best player. He won mm. Evolution, he won here. Uh, it's hard to, I feel like, disagree with that. He hadn't won a premiere beforehand, but at this point, Evo plus this, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I'm not sure that there's any real proof to the contrary. I think I think you may have a new uh, a new king in town. I certainly have no nothing to refute that claim right now. But right come now. you know 2018, it's a new season. Hopefully this thing will get renewed, and I swear right now, it is going to be Sonic Turtle with a vengeance. I'm I'm praying for that day. It's going to be our new overlords. Who's your and favorite I turtle? Them. Who's your favorite turtle? Z. Leonardo. You're the wrong. You're you got the wrong answer. I can't what? believe it. Donatello is the best. Everybody else is irrelevant in comparison. Don't don't at me. Uh, we don't want to have this conversation right now online. Thank you very much uh, for joining. Of course, throughout uh, what an epic season uh, this has been. A culmination of a lot of world class talent on display here at the E League Injustice 2 World Championship. Presented by PS4, once again, congratulations to our grand champion, Dragon. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.